I can stop talking about Hasbin Hotel. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, yeah? <laughs> God, it's gonna be one of these episodes. Yeah, I'm excited, Monty. Crucify me. So, are you Guys, frustrated I'm, that I'm, the French I'm... actor's gonna learn English? Is that what? We'll be down from the mountain. You bloody silver helmet. Ah, because the speech impediment. <laughs> well, all, it, it, this is what happens, guys, when Crazy Fox drops five <laughs> subs like 30 minutes ago, okay? We're crazy like a fox. Hey, Thank you for the hey, five Senpai, subs. Hi, can I embarrass myself really quick in front of you? Oh, wait, what do you mean embarrass yourself? I want to try, try something because I haven't done this in a while. Okay. Oh, boy, let's go. I smells an einen tiefen Tal kukuk utnak tegel tet on ein wet aus schlagen. That word? I could you not understand me? what you <laughs> <laughs> can you can you put it in chat so I can read it out? <laughs> I don't know how it's it's written. It's it's a song. <laughs> what? I, I Shed pie. My, my mother is a saint. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so I hear I hear I hear Nachtigall. That's Nachtigall, oh yeah, my... no, no. Nightingale, yeah. Nightingale. Yeah, Shep Pie is yeah. like Oscar from Evangelion German. You gotta really remember that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> on paper. Donna, no. I just probably forgot everything, to be honest. So the funny part is. The you forgot the, funny, the whole session. I thought the, the funny part is. Uh, What's up, um, there's, there's like. D okay, so. It's really weird when it comes to German because here in Hessen, where I am, uh, our German is like the most clearest. But the more oh. north you go, I think it's either north or south, the fucking German accent becomes so different that people speak like you can't even fucking understand them. <laughs> it's like the German version of a goddamn Texan accent. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, oh, that's well, that's apparent. Like Apparently, when whenever people from France hear people from Quebec accent, they're like, "Shut oh. that off! Shut <laughs> that off!" Right? Here, this here, isn't... We, we had we had a French exchange student who was the most quiet, like soft-spoken dude, and he never like he would never complained once about anything. Mm -hmm. and we were driving to Vancouver, and my parents turned on the Cana like the 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 French Canadian radio, mm -hmm. and he leaned up, and he'd never done anything this bold before. He leaned up hit the radio and turned it off and sat back down in the seat. And we, were like, <laughs> we were like, UK? And he goes, that was not pleasant. And we were like, okay. <laughs> now, now nice. I'm watching Goomba, I might just be a simple country bumpkin. <laughs> but... I can hear you there. <laughs> speaking, you know. speaking, of, speaking of Gaijin Goomba, where can they find him? Oh, God. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. Holy shit, and Joel's finally out in 15 minutes. So uh, I don't I don't get to play it until tomorrow. Sorry, Thanks, sorry, Monty. Sorry. What, Nich <laughs> what you, wait, Nietzsche Joe? Nietzsche uh, Joe? Dude, that <laughs> would be an amazing anime? game. <laughs> that would be an amazing game. No, Ninjala, which is basically Splatoon, but ninjas bubblegum and melee combat. Okay, um, that's so like just inject that into your veins. Yes, like fucking right now. I'm working on a 16-minute video breaking down that entire freaking game. Um, working my ass off for the next three days to make it happen. I will be streaming it like first thing tomorrow morning for like maybe an hour or two. Then I've got to edit, but the whole weekend is going to be nothing but that game. I'm so goddamn excited. Um, you guys know what I'm going to be working on. Um, still working on my D D races. It's taken a long time because I video editing fucking Kurt. I have a 16 minute video to edit in two days. Oh, well, then don't edit it, then, then cut it in half and do it I, one day. I, I can't do that. I already had, look, my last video, which was on Sharish Valda, by the way, go check it out on YouTube. Uh, I already had to cut that down into a two-parter. I can't have two simultaneously running two-parters. It doesn't work. South Park made it work. I'm not South, listen, I'm not funny and I'm not clever. I'm not South Park. <laughs> People will challenge you on that, that opinion. All right. Uh, anything else, dude? No. I'll, I'll, if I remember more, we'll do it later tonight. What? Hold on, Shampai. Are you ducking and hiding back there? Where can they find you? Oh, my God. Oh, you're a Oh, you're boy. Okay. Distortion Devil, where can they find you aside from laughing at her eating schnitzel? Hello. Well, I am, I am laughing my ass off. You can find me on Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch at Distortion Devil. Uh, where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, Tuesdays, uh, Ranked Adventure slash R.I.W. Roll Initiative Wrestling. Uh, things are getting weird. There's Catboy on the loose. And, uh, uh, he's, <laughs> he's, he's never a good scenario. There's never a good sign. No, he's he's defeated our, our undefeated uh, undying champion So well, as well. And, and, so now he's just the defeated just, champion. 
Yeah, now he's just now he's just some some dude, some bloke. <laughs> anyway, that's happening on Tuesday. Friday is Friday Funhouse, where I play a lot of f- fun games with my friends. Uh, Saturday is uh, Bayonetta Two, which is finally going to be happening. I finally got the fucking game installed on my Switch. Hell yeah! Oh, uh, God. And uh, Sunday, uh, we're actually not making Devil May Cry Five mods. I uh, actually going to be playing uh, some games with uh, Dennis Dyack and the people over at the Dead House Sonata server. Uh, it's going to be a blast. Uh, so be sure to check out those streams going forward. Uh, we have a lot of fun over there. How much fun? A lot of fun. <laughs> we played Unfortunate Spacemen. It was well, sh- very fascinating when I pe- peeked in there. I had to do stuff, but like I, I was kind of half like half listening, and it was like a lot of the stuff they talked about in terms of the game industry and horror games was actually really, really cool. Mm. Uh, Shampai, are you good to go now? Yes, I've finished my shuttle. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, my name is Shampai. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Good job. Thank, thank you. At you least wanna, I can you wanna, remember you wanna, that. You want to wake up again today? <laughs> Do you want to just try this again tomorrow and just try it fresh? No. Like... <laughs> I, was ready for you, I was ready for you to say schnitzel pie, and I would have been like, <laughs> just, well, holy shit. I was going to say for, sh- for schnitzel my nizzle, but I don't know if that worked. Uh, not quite. Anyways, you can find me on twitch.tv slash shempai, on YouTube at Aerovero, uh, on Twitter also at, at Aerovero. I do a lot of art. Uh, that fight that I was talking about for the past, I don't know, four sessions. Month, yeah, it's been a month. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been a month. Uh, the six months of progress, we finally beat it. And uh, I've never cried so hard on stream ever before. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I saw your tweet. Yeah, I saw your tweet yeah. too. And I felt like, you know, whenever you have that feeling with your parents not quite understanding what, what yeah. video games mean, I felt like that energy. But I was still like, you, man, it sounded fl- like a grind. And I'm like, they did it. I'm proud. Yeah, we had we had a lot of peeping. Peeping? People. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, there were a lot of big names in a 14 community in that stream. And it was really overwhelming. Um. But uh, we finally beat it, so what we're basically doing now is I finally have free time, so I'm going to be playing nothing but Persona 5 Royale until I beat that. <laughs> and uh, we're probably going to do reclairs of that fight as well, but I'm finally going back into uh, Variety Games territory because I'm free. There are no longer shackles on me. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Now, I see you there, Zito. Oh, God, do you? Fuck. Zito. How does, oh. how does it feel? How does it feel after a long time ago? Means you did a stream, Persona Four stream, that was the most biggest pain in the ass stream to set up ever. It was mind-numbingly difficult, and now we live in a post-Discord, post-post Persona Four Golden on Steam era, and I'm just mad at the world. <laughs> post PSTV world. Oh my god! Oh my god! Man. Yeah, that's right. We streamed that on the Zeno managed to jerry rig, and we we were we were streaming through Skype. Oh, all right, so Zeno, we're gonna find you. Oh, what? The, the amount, of, the amount of like, yeah, we were doing it through Skype, right? Yeah, we did it through Skype. Discord Skype wasn't a thing at the time. Yeah. Be, that, that is that is. Ugh. I remember, I remember communicating through TeamSpeak all the time. Yeah, es- the especially days. now when there's browser-based uh, websites that match your sync up together, so whoever's ah. watching on the other side can like be in time with you. Ah. I didn't even I know, know that. Right? I, I didn't even know that. Exi- thing. I, I w- no, it didn't exist until like just after we stopped. Oh, of course, no, makes sense. <laughs> makes sense, absolutely. That, if there's anything that's been more indicative, it's, it, of course everything got better when we stopped. All righty, Zito, where can they find you? You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, CZ Backlash on Twitter, and uh, the other ring at Almanac on Patreon. Uh, for homebrew nonsense, I made Beholders playable. That That's what I did, and that's it's dumb, but fuck it, I don't care. I, I put a lot of time and energy into that, and it's I love it. It's fun. I made human-sized Beholder people. Uh, you can also, for homebrew stuff, uh, the thing that you're all going to want to join the, the Patreon in the first place at all, Kobold Redux is happening, so you know oh. that'll that'll finally be a thing. But that'll be a Patreon only thing for a while. Is that uh, they, get, they get smaller? Like, yes, they do. Actually, oh, there is wow. one feat that lets them be smaller. I can already see Monty shriveling in her fucking chair right now as I talk about this. Hey, leave me alone, man. I'm just tired all the time. <laughs> this just this just just this just, 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 just no, sounds just like, like a, God. This, this just sounds like I'm talking about Zito, homebrew again. 
This this sounds like a Studio Blue movie. I'm sorry to say this. I will say, whenever I approach anybody in this call about any potential one-offs or whatever, it's immediately like, I have this character idea, and I'm like, oh god, no, I can have Pandora's, but I love the enthusiasm at the same time. I'm like, ah! Monty, Monty, you, you just, you just got You just gotta take a deep breath and take the plunge. Monty, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. No, you're good. I'm like, that's the thing. I love the excitement, but at the same time, I'm like trying to work at the same time, and I'm like, ha, ha, <laughs> like nervous. Uh, so anyway, the the visor, basically the the bit the uh beholder people. That's up on Patreon along with three other books that I put out. But just find my name on DMs Guild, Christopher Zito. You'll find my shit that I've made. Uh, game wise for the stream, Marvels on stream. Uh, last night, because I wasn't able to stream till really late, we had the, uh, Don't Tell Your Parents, uh, Grand Prix. Tonight. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> see, I, see, 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 I actually, I got a pretty high score doing that. Well, I, I, it was the South Park at Midnight playthrough. It was, uh, difficult. <laughs> so, we will be having the, uh, the, this is fine Grand Prix, now that we actually have some more stages on a, on a more reasonable time. Uh, followed up by that will be more Monster Train and a bunch of other random games. Like, I know you've never heard of these, but I'm just going to name a couple because these were brought to my attention today. Bad Guys at School, qu uh, Quest Rooms, and Melon Simulator. What are Ooh. those? You'll have to find out. Oh. Do they have cantaloupe? You, I, I assume, considering that you have to. It's basically a wave game where you have to just find random items on the floor and beat the shit out of melons. That's, so it's like kill it with fire. I'm picturing the pear vibrator for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, that's if, me. I wonder, I wonder if there's like, we got some Russian nesting dolls with melons inside melons inside melons. <laughs> a lot of armor in that melon. All right. Like, all right. Edward Bosco, the silent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where can they find you, dude? Uh, they can find me at Ed Bosco VA on Instagram and Twitter. And then right here on twitch.tv slash uh, Edward Bosco. That's awesome, dude. What kind of things you got going on? Uh, streams mostly. I mostly stream on Twitch. <coughs> All righty. I dude. kill Monty too with my <coughs> dulcet tones. And stream labs I just just crashed, so I have to reset it. And now it's missing a bunch of people's donations. Son of a bitch. Uh, okay. Every I, I fucking I time. I wasn't done. I was gonna plug myself. On oh, you were? Uh, just that's yeah. a first. Plug away. Keep going. Thank you for your permission. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you get. Guys... Just to uh, just to plug something that I know people have been asking about, I finally got permission to make sure that I could talk about it. Yes, that was me in the new Nintendo mm -hmm. Direct. I lent my voice to the Pokemon Unite section of the video, so yes. What? Oh, fuck yeah, really dude. Damn. Damn. Yeah. What? I thought that was you. Yeah, that was me. I didn't me. see it. I just woke up and I, I saw people screaming about Pokemon League of Legends, and I was like, oh, and they're like, it's on. <laughs> so it's what is on. the Bosco Nuzlocke? It's the so phone. It's on the phone. I, I only like, oh. I only did the direct. Just calm down. All I did was the direct, but it was a lot of fun. I lent my voice to the announcer guy, and it was great. It looks like a, a fun game. It was a lot of fun to work on, and uh, I'm looking forward to see what the the full game is like. Awesome! Oh, yeah, awesome. dude. I fucking awesome! Congrats on the <clears throat> congrats! Yeah, on I had a bunch that, of man. I woke up to a bunch of messages this morning because Discord and my my phone were blowing up. Like, dude, congrats, dudes, congrats! And like before I said anything, I was like, hey, am I allowed to say that I did the thing? Because you don't want to piss off Pokemon. No. Yeah. No. no you. No. You don't. No. You don't. <laughs> no. You don't. No. If people know it's you, but you haven't said anything, is that really violating your NDA? Oh no. It's well. It's not even an NDA. Like I just it's, wanted it's, to make sure that it was appropriate it, to talk about, even because again, it was just a Nintendo Direct, and I know when uh, Xander did one as the the Smash announcer, there was a very specific way you had to to say it, and lo and behold, I got the email five minutes before we went on air. Of like, yeah, it's cool to talk about it, but please phrase it like this. I'm like, you guys got it. Yeah, so there's very, a, there's yeah. always an embargo with that shit. There's it's also not even just an embargo. There's a specific way that they want you to phrase it, and I'm totally. It was the same thing with Transformers. Like that's why I only retweeted it. I'm I'm always whatever they want me to do. I'm I am beholden to, to them. Yeah. Right on. It, 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 I'll say just real quickly. Uh, it, it, for example, for the, the NDA thing, like for when uh, uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, when Dragon Ball Xenoverse came out, <coughs> someone did a uh, the deep data mine where they just stripped out all the audio files. Mm. So that someone just stripped audio, stripped the audio out, and then they grabbed my audio, and they were like, "Wait a minute, that's." So then they had to announce it. So mm. it's it's it, it could be different for companies, but no, you 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 did the good boy thing. So yes, you did, mm -hmm. Monty. Hi. 
Where can they find you? You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, and I know it's it's. I didn't notice it until today, but apparently I made it to 10k followers on on Twitter. Oh yeah! Congrats. 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 I have a very important question. Why? Because you spilled you spilled pickled vegetables all over the floor. I did well, do pickled that, asparagus. <laughs> I dumped half of a jar of pickled asparagus all over my my entire it, bottom half of my body. Z Zeno, I gotta go. I spilled pickles. Wait, what'd you do? I I gotta go. I spilled <laughs> yeah. the pickles. Um. <laughs> But yeah, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. I mostly post art. I'm actually posting updates on my frog, and it's been it's been a bit um, rough. <laughs> it's been not great, so I'm working on that at the moment. Uh, but you can find me uh, streaming at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, if you guys didn't catch it yesterday, I actually did a stream over at twitch.tv forward slash Octopimp, where me and him went through all the Generation Three Pokemon and ranked them based off of design quality specifically. Um, not Why is Sableye the best, Monty? Sableye is pretty good. Sableye got bumped up pretty high because of his animations, but that's a conversation for another time. Um, <laughs> if you haven't checked out that VOD, I definitely recommend checking out on Octopin's channel. Um, it was it was a lot of fun. Uh, but if you want to catch me playing video games, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be playing more Devil May Cry 3. <clears throat> yeah. um, it's what a wacky <laughs> wahoo pizza adventure it's been so far. Pizza adventure? <laughs> Yeah, he he's wacky wahoo pizza man. He bought some scarecrow grim reaper guys without a shirt on, eating pizza at the same time, and he shot a cue ball to hit the other cue balls, defying gravity to, to kill dudes. It was, I don't even know what's happening. That's, not, that's crazy. Um, so you can catch that tomorrow, um, at around 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and then on Sundays I'm gonna be wrapping up uh, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. I'm just gonna do one more, one more, one more uh, stream of that. Hopefully, wrap the whole thing up. And then after that, we're moving on to Final Fantasy IX. I just got <laughs> my assets, my my streaming assets from Bradley on that. We're gonna be doing uh, hopefully a full playthrough of, of Final Fantasy IX. Uh, and we're kind of carrying over the prime time, crime time, and peace gang motif. But instead, it's gonna be uh, Steiner or VV, uh, Steiner representing peace and VV representing crime, uh, because Steiner is a guard and VV broke into a theater, but that's yep. fine. What a criminal <laughs> life in prison. What a criminal. Monty, your, your primetime wow. crime time nonsense spilled over to my marble stream last night. It was kind of great. It's yep. It's, really it's great. It was great. We had chaos and light and it was amazing. So yeah, you can catch that, uh, on Sundays. That's going to be about 4 PM Pacific standard time and I'll be uploading all the parts to YouTube. So, yeah. Uh, and you can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101, where we are on the road to Multivania, which will be the July 4th weekend, and proceeds will be going to the Navajo Nation COVID uh, Relief Charity Fund. Oh. And that'll be uh, what we'll be doing the charity for at the July 4th weekend. As well, I have been throwing down with many a community <laughs> member in the Sea of Thieves, which is now out on Steam. Now that the game is complete, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Unless you're Gaijin Goomba. Oh God! <laughs> Where in which it is a suffering. You just had to call. You had to call me out, didn't you, Doc? No, you, you have, have bad luck in the game. I feel bad for you. No, dude, it's fine, Gaijin. We just have to play Blazing Sales, which is literally just Sea of Thieves oh, or Pubga. Oh, but it's, Zeno. Pub it's, Pub it's it's Pub it's Pubga. No, it's Jesus it's Sea of Thieves with a funny Fortnite wall. That's what it is. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> It sounds terrible. Anyways, you can find that over at <laughs> twitch.tv slash Takahata101. We'll be updating uh, the streaming schedule here going forward. And um, <laughs> and someday in the distance with a with a, with a a big old telescope, uh, Yes, Yes, Love Adventure Go will return as a monstrous form one more Taka. time. The darkness Taka. is released. From the... we'll, talk, we'll talk later. Um, mm. What? <laughs> What? What? <laughs> what? All right, I'm we got waiting. a lot of subs. We got a lot of subs. We got a lot of... Go. We got a lot of subs to read through here. I do apologize again. The stream has crashed on me here, so I'm going to try to thank everyone the best we can. I want to thank the following people with the bits that they have dropped. I want to thank the following four people for 5,000 bits apiece, guys. Are you guys ready? You guys ready? Ripping ton. Bubba Bob 145. Mr. LeChart. And Blackfoot Ferret. Yeah. Thank you so much, you four. I also thank Black Dragon Cleric. S Wolf 95. Real Meta. 
Gamma Leo, thank you so much for the 2,000 plus bits. And Black Dragon Claire, thank you for the 2,500 bits as well. I would like to thank Crazy Fox for the five subs. PM Ghost for the five subs. Thank you guys so much. And now we're, and here we go. If I miss you, I'm sorry. The thing did crash. <clears throat> Daniel Mac 2018, Lusubi O on the robot, gifting a sub to Marches of our Ma uh, of Am Amarande, Mr. Lechart, Crazy Tail 30, XX, him and SXX. McCleary 9650 gifting us up Griffin 9989 Bizarre Coyote True Alucard 5 PM Ghost Hated Harlan's at Alpha 8087 Cerebic Cheese Velvet Frog Crazy Meta Over the Corda Just Another Clone Dr. KP Saw my the bits Jade Vetch Sake 2228 Thank you for the bits OT Sojourner Omen of the Gloomy Bunny The Emperor of Penguin Kind Trav Nogard Black Dragon Cleric Alien Ghost 365 Derpy Doogie Paladin Bubbles Chief Tomahawk, Deluna 13, Ebon Sky, Julie Fish, 10,000 Armored Bees, Clown oh Captain, God. Nom Nom Goblin, Shaggy 952, yeah. <laughs> Demon Shark 666, the number of the beast, Vin Smoke Sanji 900, wow. JMPOA, King of the C King of the Cyber Jews, Maxa 2 million, uh, Tamu Chrono Rift, AJK 8807, The Hand and the Iron Fist, Tyler, 1985, Dumb Rejects, Carpet Jack, 33, Hyro, Gaddix, Bud, the Spud, 3226, Point, Dexter, Ifrida, Ulu, North York, Son of J, underscore J, RPG, Russia, 96, Mr. Fuck em Up, 2001, Duke Skeletons with a thousand bits. Hey, y'all, can't, can't say, but I hope you catch you guys in the archives tomorrow afternoon when I get home from my welding class and hopefully Task learns to fly and keep the Coke out of coffee. Wolf Scar 3, thank you for the bits. Cry, Cairo Drake 02 with 1,001 bits. I've been watching this stream for two-ish years now. And it's helped me through one of the toughest times of my life. So I just want to thank everybody. Well, Cyro Drake 02, thank you for sticking with us for over two years. It's King of the Cyber Jews with 1,002 bits. No message. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? 1,002 bits. We're doing okay. How are you doing? Doing pretty sick. Yeah. Black Dragon Claire for 2,500 bits. Someone please help. I brought the die I bought the Die Hard Dice Dragons trove set, like Monty told me. Oh, and now no. I don't know what to <laughs> and I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Also, sending love to everyone these hard times that you guys help us through with your amazing campaign and characters. Well, thank you that's, so much. And that's 20 sets of dice, my dude. Why <laughs> by who? Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Twitch, Dice. They're they're oh, twitch they're twitch they're twitch their twi their twitch name is Black Dragon Cleric. How hard into it do you think they were gonna go? That's fair. Yeah. Mm. That's fair. I, I, I expect better from all also, of them. Die Hard Dice. Dice. Please, they'll never sponsor. <laughs> it's hard to sponsor streams. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Fully Cooley 9,500 bits. I've been marathoning unexpected since March in order to finally catch you guys live for the first time. I'm almost shaking with excitement to see Task fly, especially with Shen, one of my favorite streamers. Oh. Best of luck to you all. And may the dice not screw you over at the most crucial of times. <laughs> Thank you. King Ninja with the 1500 bits after 120 episodes plus 10 one offs. All the animations, almost two years of catching up. I can finally catch you guys live to give some bits for the fun times. Wow. Nice. King Ninja, thank you so much for sticking it through. You I want to talk I, to I, dedication? I, we, we, we all apologize for Task. Uh, yeah, I apologize. Gamma Leo with the 1500. Right, dude. Gamma Leo with 1500 bits. Second verse, it was the first. Y'all ready for some fun tonight? Yes. Yeah, we'll think of the 1500 bids. Alien goes 365 with the 500 bits. Okay, let's open talks with some orcs. Okay, I think we will. <laughs> very, it was very chill. It was very chill. And uh, that is all we have here. I know there were other people who dropped some uh, bits and subs. I do apologize if we missed those. Uh, Monokite with the 2000 bits. Goddamn, Monokite. No message, just bits. Well, thank you so much. Edu Table One, thank you for the sub. Forever Dragon, Forever Dragon, Forever, the Forever Dungeon Master. Thank you so much for the three month three sub. Doom Knight 013. Thank you so much as well. Uh, the Forever Dungeon Master with 500 bits. Here, I take my love bits. Heart, 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 heart. Oh my goodness. Stop it. I think that's everybody except for okay, those I that we. For the first time in this, I actually didn't finish the intro, so I'm going to have to improvise. 500 bits from C. Vanders. Can't wait to see the Kobolds attempt to fly tonight. All right, guys. Since Die since Hard Dice. Brought to you this by is, Die Hard Dice. Since, since no, we're all here. No, and we you need know to what? I'm going to put an end to this right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to make an official statement to you, Die Hard Dice. I hope you're listening <gasps> right now. No, I'll be fall. nice to them. We like them. No, I like them too, but you have exactly one, one month to reply to our request 
for a sponsorship. <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, I will go to the deepest, darkest depths of the internet and I will unleash the has bunnies upon you. Oh. Do not make me go there. They we will send you, you all, all the D100s, the, the literal <laughs> golf balls. I will, I will unleash uh, the power of the interwebs. Please dear, do what is dear, right. Dear Die Hard Dice, uh, he doesn't speak for us. Edward Bosco does not necessarily. <laughs> Edward Bosco's opinions of these do not reflect the rest of us. I, I, I can't. I can't believe you guys are talking about the English dub actor of the French dub actor of Has Been Hotel, guys. How dare you say that? <laughs> you now, I know what, I, now I, I know I, what I, you're I, thinking. Kurt, Kurt, I understand that you're extremely jealous and envious. I of am okay. Bad, but you don't have to make it so blatant in front of Cell's 1,500 dead. people. Alucard's dead. Napa what came back and no one what? cared. And the I only way to fill here. that hole is with Die Hard Dice. It's true. <laughs> Where am I? I don't know, man. I want to. Can we play D&D &D now? <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll read 329 with a thousand. But thanks to Monty and the crew, I ordered a, a Metal Dragon's Trove from Die Hard Dice. Thank you for the sub Salamander. Thank you for the tier 3 3 month resale marks. Tier 500 bits. Is Die Hard Dice the Rage Shadow Legends of D&D stream? Oh. Yes! Oh, yes! Uh, oh, have you ever heard of Rainy Shady Die Hard Dice? <laughs> Guys, I want you to know that between <laughs> Die Hard Dice and Rage Shadow Leggings, I have never turned out Leggings. Die Hard Dice to sponsor a stream. Leggings. I can confirm We're 12, that. We're 12 minutes over. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, Die Hard Dice, remember yeah. what I And we also said. do, okay. real quickly here, while okay. we're waiting, well, there is one okay. quick rule we want to cover. We, Nadine, do you want to cover we'll, the... We'll do that right now. We're going to start, okay? Everyone... Calm mm. down. All right, everyone, take a deep breath. Drink some water. <sighs> everyone, okay. everyone, podcast. All right, uh, everyone who's listening right now, uh, we now have a new rule in both the Discord server and the Twitch channel. Um, there has been a, a rise in people harassing donators and people who buy gift subs. Uh, if you are caught harassing individuals over their source of income, over, you know, begging them for a sub, any sort of behavior like that, you will be warned and you will be permanently banned. We are not upholding, we're not allowing this to be a thing. Um, it's mm -hmm. been pretty bad. You need to remember in, in regards to the unexpectables, everything we give to you is free. The reason that we do and we make everything accessible and free is because we have very generous people who allow us to do what we do. <sighs> without having to worry about putting pay gates behind things. It is mm -hmm. my goal with everything here is that we will never have a pay gate, but people harassing people who are donating is puts that at risk. People who donate to the stream, we love and appreciate you. The, the, the money you send to us, it means a whole lot. It helps us improve the stream. It helps us, you know, be able to eat and not starve to death. Uh, it helps us pay our podcast guy, Austin, our artists who come in and do fantastic work. So just everyone, please, if you could, um, just respect the people who are donating and, and don't pry into their personal lives. It is none of your business. Mm -hmm. So please, please don't do it. All right. Yeah. All right. Yep. That comes all right. from all of us. Uh, real yeah. fast, real fast. Before we get started here, I got a just a couple people to thank. Argent Lyle, thirteen with a thousand minutes. I have scotch, beer, and popcorn. Let's watch Tass learn how to fly. Guys, X Wiley. Why is Die Hard Dice the bit boss? Yeah, so 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 someone uh, so X Y so Y Willy X Y Willy donated Die Hard Dice a sub and that killed the bit boss. So now the bit boss of the unexpected stream is Die Hard Dice. Die Hard. Die Hard Dice. This is a stick up. You better sponsor us right now. Wait a minute, it's that guy who lives in the coach outside of town. Shit, it's me. Oh, no. All right. Oh, really quickly. Uh, Hyro Gaddix with the 1500 bits. Here's some bits. Love you all and enjoy each stream of D&D. Hyro Gaddix, thank you so much for the 1500 bits. Mark Wolf donating five subs to the community. Holy shit. And Oz195 gifting 10, 10, 10 subs to the community. Goddamn. Thank you so much, right. Oz195. We, we have to start. We have to start. We're, we're 15 minutes behind. We need to start. Also, sorry, guys. We were kind of Gabby. We were, I was away for a week, so that's why we're a little behind. So. We love you. All right. Let's yes. do it with half okay. of a finished introduction. Excellent. When last we left our heroes, Panic, the Tiefling Bard, Greckles, the Kenku Rogue, 
Remy, the Kenku fighter, Borky, the orc barbarian, Tass, the cobalt ranger, and a new found friend in Abi, the construct cleric. The party left the steel realm of the mechanist plane. Borky, Panic, Greckles, and Abis, Abi found their way to the present and made their way down to the mountain to meet up with Remy. After meeting up at Gram Gram's place, the party planned and decided to take their prize from the mountain to meet with Agranak and the other members of the Blood Axe tribe. Meanwhile, in the past, Task and Eos have found themselves in the den of the once dead gold ancient dragon after saving winter from a wyvern. Now in the past, standing before an unbroken mirror, Task made the plunge and entered a mysterious realm potentially formed by Orthok and Oriara. Through the twisting timeline, Task met with Rayfire, first friend of dragons and closest companion of Sasorin, the first ancient red dragon of the material plane. Through a quiet conversation, Task was told by Rayfire that he is the reincarnation of the great red dragon, though his life and his experience is his own. Proceeding forward through this mysterious realm, Task twisted and turned until eventually, uh, eh, this is really over, I have to improvise, uh, eventually entering the present where he met with his long gone sister. She confided in him her greatest guilt in that in order to save Task, she had to sacrifice the rest of the red kobolds to prevent them from all being consumed and the world from being destroyed. After a heartfelt moment, Task was ported to a different strange place, an endless sand sea, where he was set upon by an ancient blue dragon, which then quickly revealed itself to be his very own son, Tarisk. So as these two individual groups, one in the present and one in the past, make their way, we return now to the unexpectables. So, Task. Am I not in the future? You're in, you are, you, you're in the mirror in the past. You are in the future, you think. You're not sure where you are. It's very Zito, confusing. no that's matter fair. where no, you are, go, I... Zito, you go play the stock markets. For fuck's <laughs> sake, go play the stock <laughs> markets. <laughs> All right, Tarsk, open up your doors. It's 456 for a turnip. I got to get in on this. <laughs> Turnips! All right. The stocks are real. So, Task, as you sand, your, your feet now about up to their ankles in, in very silky sand as this blue dragon looks down to you, almost grinning and smiling. So, flight, as in soaring through the air, then? That's a way of defining it, I suppose. Uh, Tass, like, like, looks left and right, like, looks back and forth, looks back at Tarisk. That would be amazing if I had wings, son. <laughs> Who said you need wings to fly, father? Elaborate, please. I do not need to tell you anything. I just need to show you. Come on. Very, very well. He grabs you with his hand. It's just like, he's very gentle, but it's still like, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> his, his thumb is almost as big as you are. Oh, God. Um, looking at him, you, you recall the blue dragons that you've seen before in your history. Tarisk looks a lot different than them. Notably, hmm. he almost has like a somewhat of a sheen to him like a like almost like a metallic sheen to him it's it's subtle but it's there and huh. you've never really seen that before on a dragon as he kind of takes you within his hand you feel and you see the giant shade of his wings kind of unfurl above this expanse of sand and as he bellows his wings different little pieces of sand kind of buffer up <coughs> into the air and you have to wince your eyes shut as you begin to lift up into the air, the feeling of somewhat weightlessness at your, at, you are at, now at the mercy to, as Taurus takes off into the air. As far as the eye can see, you can see sand, endless sand. But to a fair distance, you can see plateaus of sandstone rock that rise up beyond the horizon in fair distances. But beyond that, an expansive sea of sand. How far are we from Alavast from here? <laughs> Very far. Do you not know where we are? Is this Ruba? Yes, it is. Part of it anyway. A remote part where most people do not come. It is a fine place for a dragon. Not a really fine place for people. Hopefully this was a decision to sequester yourself out here made by yourself, son. Hmm. 
he lets go of you. Roll a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Son! Sorry. Hold on. You're good. Dexterity save. Here we go. Okay. Uh, 15. 15. Not bad. You you start spinning and kind of like, because it just kind of comes out of nowhere, eventually steadying yourself as you scream. And then all of a sudden, as you see the ground rushing towards you, it stops and you immediately take back off into that flightlessness, like that sort of... Uh, lack of gravity as you soar back up into the air and you hear Taurus above you go, my, 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 you really have a lot of work to do, hmm. Well, you know, when you've never flown before, literally your first time, you don't have the physical limitations, and when you just drop a man into the sky, a little bit of things are to be expected, son. Do you, think all, do you think all things choose when to fly? A loaded question, because if they have the capability to, then yes. <laughs> Maybe not. And you watch as he kind of soars above this giant plateau with plateau, sorry, with all these sort of like sheer tops, the wind having cut and carved through the stone <laughs> as you just gently hover over this hot wind kind of rushing past your face. It's very comfortable for you. This feels probably the most comfortable you've ever been anywhere. The heat is is nice. It's not overbearing like magma fire or like the flames. It is a natural warm sunlight. As Taurus soars over, he goes, I have a question for you, father. Very well. What do the wind and land have in common? Oh, <laughs> shit. Uh... Task is blank. He's just like. <laughs> they are untamed. They do as they must because they must. They have no control over the forces that they are. They simply are. But we, we are different. We control what we are. We control how we move. And you watch as he does like a barrel roll, flipping completely around in the air, the sensation kind of lurching your stomach as you're twisted around in the sky. <laughs> that is what we can do. Tell me, Father, what do you fear of being up here? What makes your heart pound in ways that you fear for your life? It was watching others be taken away into an unknown, never to be seen again. And would you say those that were taken, how would you say they are different than the ones that took them? They had control. Precisely. He lets go of you again. Roll a dexterity saving throw. Okay, okay. You know what? Fine, let's be so philosophical since I know he's gonna catch me. Let's go! Just fucking Superman dive down with a 23. Okay, 23. Oh wait, that's a dex roll. Is that okay? Yeah, uh, yeah I'll, let it, I'll let you keep it. I'll be fair. Your save is that plus four, so... Actually, well, yeah, yeah, that's that plus four then. So, 20... Yeah, that's, 27. That's a, lot. a lot, yeah. You kind of wince your eyes and hold your breath and begin to plummet, and you hit a, you hit sand, actually. <laughs> it doesn't hurt you. Uh, you do take a little damage, though. Uh, you take two points of falling damage, but you, the blow is lessened because you hit sand. Pass <laughs> looks like, rises up from the sand, like, looks at his, like, shoulder and, like, cracks it in place. <laughs> ah! Fuck. You watch as Taurus lands, the ground shakes and the sand shifts as he kind of prances up to you a little bit, kind of like intrigued and turns down to look at you. Well, I thought you were going to catch me that time. But I gave it the I gave it a try. Mhm. Mm you were still scared and you were hurt, and that can be part of it. That is the price of flight. That sometimes you may not land the way you wish. Sometimes you may crash, and sometimes it may kill you. More failure than success. So far. But will there be success? That's for you to decide. All right, well, one second. He, like, cracks his neck. All right, let's try again. You watch as Taurus lowers his wing and lets you up onto his back. I get up on it. You watch as he takes off again, the sand buffeting around you as you soar back into the air. 
and with each bellowing of the wing, you rise higher and higher, and this time even higher, 60 feet, 100 feet. Eventually, you don't know anymore. As you rise up high into the air, your shadow trailing far behind you back down on the sands. You feel the wind rush through you into your ears, into your nostrils and your eyes. Your, your clothes, as, as firm and as leather as some parts may be, flutters in the hot desert wind. As Taurus bellows with each flap of his wing over the space beneath you. Now, son, before we go through with this, I hope you at least know that there's a difference between a lesson and suicide. I don't see quite the difference, really. Oh, thank God you are my son. Great. <laughs> well, no time like the present, I guess. I stand up on his back and I wait for him to just like go ahead and drop me off, I guess. He's just flying. He's just going forward. All right, well, I, I'm expecting him to drop me. I'm just standing up on his back waiting for it. As I like look off into the distance, like, okay, this is what flying feels like. Try to visualize it. Like I'm like Task is just like sitting, not sitting there. He's standing there, just like, okay, I'm gonna fall one of these. And one of these seconds, I'm gonna fall, but I better take this in while I still can. Taurus doesn't seem to force you this time. He's just kind of waiting. Oh, he's waiting on me then. All right. Well. Well. I've done stupid things before. Why stop here? And uh, I just let myself fall off him. Okay, you just start dropping again. Roll a dexterity save with advantage this time. <laughs> Do a flip. Oh, good. Eleven. You start spinning out of control, but eventually kind of even yourself out, but you're still ungraceful, and eventually you collide into the back of a blue dragon as, again, you're taken back up into the air. Taurus turns and goes, you know, we could really do without the screaming. Oh, have I been? I actually kind of forgot that that was a thing that was happening. The wind cuts it out, but I can hear it. Huh. All right, well, I have an idea for that. Task, uh, like, pulls down his mask and clamps the uh, straps around his mouth. You watch as uh, Taurus shakes his head and goes, No. You must tackle this with every fiber of your being. No shields, no armor. You must feel what it is to be a dragon. Pull the visor back up. Uh, without hesitation, I just run across his wing and I jump. Okay, again, dexterity saving throw with advantage. Come on, man. 19. 19. You suck in a breath and you begin to pull your arms inwards and just like a bullet or a, like a falcon, you kind of go into this dive and you begin to see the ground rocketing towards you as again, the dragon is swept underneath you and you collide and crash and kind of scramble up. That's better. But you're tackling your fears. You're not embracing what you are. That I can help with. How do you feel? <laughs> Tash just like sits up, like inhaling. Suicidal, but free. <sighs> he kind of just huffs and turns his Son, head. I'm kidding. Tass, like, folds his arms. I'm giving it my best. I'm trying. I'm trying. Do not try. Just be. Stay on my back, and I will show you. Up again. You sit on his back, holding on to one of the, uh, kind of the bigger scales behind his neck, kind of near the shoulder region. As Taurus begins to kind of come into, like, a sweeping dive... You begin to see ahead these large, almost like flat-sided mountains of dark brown and umber stone, of clay sand rock that rises like a wall over the horizon. You watch as Taurus begins to fly forward towards it. 
You feel the wind again rushing towards you as the sun is beginning to crest over this mountain. And I'm going to say roll a wisdom saving throw for me. Okay. You? Come on! Five. Okay. Your heart is pounding in your chest. And it's really hard not to let it. As the world sprawls out before you. So, 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 so this is what the material plane is like. Think so far. I, 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 I can see why Lies decided to stay here for so long. But, 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 but I still think he's a fool. S -s 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 still, nice view. There's a lot more to this place than you're seeing right now. There's a lot more to the mountain. And there's a lot more than just a forest of clocks. There's oceans, more than just sand. There's, there's cities sprawling with all sorts of walks of life. And even then, I haven't seen the full scope of it. There's a weird silence in your mind. It's Aos's silence and pondering. You take a deep breath and look over as the rushing wind cuts through you. You breathe. Eventually you come into a low soar towards the side of the mountain. And you see a large cavernous hole. And just as the wind howls, it shrieks as you swoop into this hole in the side and immediately you're met with darkness that runs past you on either side. As Taurus dips and dives, lurching and, and twisting in ways unpredictable, you kind of hold your grip to his back as this darkness swallows the both of you. And it's pitch black. Even with your dark vision, you see nothing. And a creeping cold begins to crawl all over you a doubt and fear. And then you see a light up ahead, tiny and almost a pinkish purple, it calls like a beacon. Stare at it, but let's, let's see what's ahead then. The buffeting of wings echoes through this massive cavern as you breach through into a massive pocket, a secret world of massive gemstones of glowing divine light. The floor is a sea and an oasis of water of a beautiful, stunning aqua blue hue that almost glows at the center as various giant stones almost like massive stars fall into earth, embrace you and Tarisk as you fly free and clear through such a beautiful chasm of wonder and light. See, what did I tell you? I say to Aos. You coast through seeing various different creatures, giant, cave salamanders dip into the water in the fear of the shadow of the dragon. <laughs> you see fish bigger than the ones you've seen in the ocean swimming through its waters. And then Taurus flips you. Cool. For I've... a moment, you're afraid. And then the next moment, you're not. Uh, can I uh, quickly say something? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Task is initially afraid of the fact that he just got flipped over. But then... After hearing what Ao said, and then after seeing this... There's a little bit of an epiphany in Task right now. Being stuck in that mountain 
going to Alavast, breaking mold of that, and now traveling in otherwise vast dimension to a new timeline and now seeing a cave full of crystals, something that any kobold worth their lives in any day would just, you know, lose their mind over. This is like a treasure trove for them. And this is only just by flying. This isn't achievable. This is a desire now. Task needs to fly. And you do. You fly. You don't what? go up, but you go down. And you collide into the water. And bubbles are up next to you as you look down. Roll a perception check for me. Okay. Please be good. 14. You look down and you see a light that you've seen before, staring back up at you. The light of the undersun, a piece of it maybe, staring back up at you. And you begin to float back up to the surface. A buffet of wind kind of hits your face as you kind of lean back and gasp for air as Taurus is currently hovering above you, kind of keeping aloft within this chasm. There we go. That's the ticket. How do you feel? Uplifted. Free? Yes, Goblin. A task nods his head. Sorry. One second. No, no, no! It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Bad. She shouldn't be doing it. I've been training her out of it. Sorry. That was a cute little meow. I know. Came out of, came out of nowhere. <laughs> ah, the mythical catfish of the crystal caves. <laughs> a literal catfish. Yeah, literally. Um, you kind of lie back in the water, and it's warm. It's not cold. It's very warm. And some of the fish kind of come up and nibble at you. Some of the big fish swim by too, but they don't bother with you. They don't care. Right on. Tash just like looks up. And here's me thinking that you were going to make me physically fly. But this is a better substitute, in my opinion. In truth, flying is just landing with style, if we're being honest. How much style was it the first three times? Baby steps. But... I can show you how to fall with much more elegance. Though it may take some time. But it seems much... like between you and your friend, you have generous amounts in this moment. So long as the others will be all right. And so long as, as you say, time is far more generous here, then I will spend as much time as it needs to get this right. Then let us begin with Ernest. So, I need you to make, uh, I'm going to say, it's going to be vehicle checks. I'm going to need you to make uh, three vehicle checks for me. Okay, here I go. Land vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Fly this... that to your, your flight vehicle. Okay, 23. 23. Okay. 15. Okay. And... I almost saw that nat 1 roll over there. 22. Yeah. yeah. All right. 23, 15, 22. All right. You are here for a month in the desert. And you learn how a dragon maneuvers in the sky with Tarisk. Well, I know how to fall with style, it seems. Yeah, you do. It's hard at times. Uh, you definitely are, you get hurt a lot. You fall and, and hit the ground pretty hard at times, but most of the time it's minor. Um, and most of the time you're landing in pretty, like pretty soft sand, not rocks. There are moments where you learn to leap off of the back of Taurus, run across a, across a plateau, and then leap back onto his back. Without sick! Oh, sick! 
There are times where you just drop off of his back and he flips around and catches you, but there's no hesitation. The fear uh, of flying has been conquered and destroyed. Fuck yeah. So, son, I don't know, uh... I don't know if this messes with any... with any rules that are bound with me being here. We spent all this time worrying about me. Look at you. Look at the size of you. Look at you. You're out in the middle of the desert. You're a... You're not even a blue dragon. You're something else. Speak of yourself. I need to know. Hmm. You hear Ao speak to you. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you remember all the clocks in the place where you found me? Uh, I said yes. Oh, I didn't hear you. You're cutting out. It must be. I don't know. Sorry. No worries. I, 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 I believe this is one of those clocks. They're infinite, you know. Endless. It, 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 it wouldn't surprise me if this is just one of many possibilities. The clocks take me into the lives or the time of someone else that I know then. Or at least to anyone else's life. It, 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 it takes you to a place and a world where your choices have not yet been made. Th 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 this might not be. This is a different time. Completely. Hmm. Father, you seem perplexed. Don't worry, son. It's... Thinking about everything that I've come up to at this point. It's more just pondering on the fact that... I'm here in an in another time or another place. I've traveled to, at least in my perspective, three other planes of existence that may or may not exist or might have decisions I've never made. It's outstanding. A world beyond worlds. And it's kind of awe-inspiring that it's happening for me. If... I am well. Biz, biz, hmm? I am here of my own volition. There is hmm. not much in truth that I do now, but a favor to you and your family. Tass just like looks at Tarisk and then looks down at himself just like, I would have been happy about the fact that you said that out loud. That word's nice, but again, this is a world where my actions are not of my own. But it is comforting to think that it could happen. So how do you feel? You feel as though you are ready to fly by yourself. I want to soar, Tarisk. I want to make these things real. I am glad. After all, you're the one who taught me how to fly anyway. Tash, like, puts his hands on his hips and looks at him. No shit. Yes, I will say the roof technique was efficient, but a bit traumatizing. But it did work. Task holds his face. Oh my god, I'm an asshole. I can't dispute the results, though. And that's me telling you that. Well, so long as you don't have a deep-seated hatred like I used to. Yeah, I can't say I do. You treated me well. Tough at times, but fair. And that's you all I could ask for. You also freed me from that terrible fate beforehand. I have nightmares about it. I apologize I didn't know of it sooner. Yeah. The silver one. If you ever see them again, you should thank them once more. Oh, God, must I? <laughs> He's kind of a creep. 
that is fair. <laughs> he is. But he did save my life. Ah, I guess I... Are loud today. Hmm. I guess I owe him that. Well, as I've said before, as redundant as it is, no time like the present, I want to fly. All right. And you will. You feel as the world around you warbles and disappears, the heat of the sand rushing from behind you, and once again you are floating in that void. Meanwhile... Oh boy. Panic, Greckles, Berkey, Remy, and Obby. Hey, that's all of us. Yeah. Wow, that's me. That's you guys. Da, 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 da. And I see you. Da, 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 da. And, I, okay. and I miss you. <laughs> da, 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 da. And I want... <laughs> Wait, so who wrote that? <laughs> A bard. Greckles. But which bard, Borky? I actually don't know above game who actually made that song. I know, so I don't know how I can create a D and D version of that character. <laughs> it's a mystery, so I will take credit for it. Ah, it's a grim tongue special. Yeah, it's yeah. a good song. Well, no, that's something different. That's not even. Never mind. <clears throat> so, how far down the mountain are we? Uh, you're about like. Um... You you can see the village from here. You're like probably ten. I'm gonna say ten minutes away from the village at this point, walking wise. Oh, they say before we get, before we get down there, let's go over the plain one more time, just because you know if I get hit too hard, it might might not knock my knock my marbles around a little bit. So, we the plan is to have not have any plan yet. We go down there. We present. Big orc guy, with the with the silver that you, you've 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 glued it to the helmet. Yes, I've glued it to the helmet. And at what point do we tell them their god is wrong? I yeah. would assume. I would assume. We're hoping that they. We're hoping we come to that conclusion by themselves. We're so under the we're, and. Clever deception. We're under the assumption that, Borky, we can do that when we can prove that we are actually stronger than them for having come up and down. And now that we have Abby here, show that maybe even the constructs are more powerful than they are. I mean, they've never gone up the mountain and back down again and lived. Hmm. Okay, then. Rob, Rob's chin. Yeah. <laughs> I believe the follow-up to that, Borky, that you mentioned uh, some time ago was to challenge the Chieftain and whichever push group. Push comes to self. Well, huh? you've got all us. Yeah. Don't, don't forget that, by Borky's the way. Borky's just Excalibur facing. <laughs> hey, I don't like uh, it either. Uh, but... Kurt. Yeah. Would you say Borky is nervous? Oh, you know what? You know what? It is? Bor Borky Borky has that look of, all right, putting all their chips on me. Really hope I'm a good bet. <laughs> uh, Remy's gonna put his uncertain. He's on Borky. He's uncertain. You get you get a talent on your shoulder. Greco's. I'm fine. Oh, Remy. Borky, you can do this. Yeah. And no matter what happens, you are not your father. He's going to just pat you on the back. Borky's kind of yeah, like, I mean, you don't know if he's nodding or he's like clip-clopping on his, on his steed. Clip-clopping with... with with socks and her pads. <laughs> I mean, they got nails. They do, yeah. They do have nails. Hmm. Porky just kind of like to do that hmm nod. As you guys That's make your way down past the runes, is there anything else you guys would like to do? Uh, I'd like I'd... to. I'd like to talk to Object Eight, okay. if that's okay on the way down. 
Okay, you ride up next to to who's object eight riding with, by the way. I think uh, it was Borky. I'm pretty sure it was Borky. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm like on the shoulders. Because I was like, totally, yeah. <laughs> I was Borky like, shoulder, holding his face. Well, Secret <laughs> weapon. <laughs> oh, this is convenient. Then I'm right there. <laughs> See, for small yeah. for small characters, Borky's shoulder is like a seat. So. <laughs> Object eight. Yes. How familiar are you with Oriara's practices? As you could see, we're missing one of our companions, and I'm curious when we might see him again. That is something I can unfortunately not say. But he will be back, yes? Abby just kind of stares and he looks down. I don't know. Is he saying this out loud? Yep, yeah. this is all out loud. Uh, I would say not to worry about them too much. This is probably some crazy prophecy fulfilling shit that he's on right now. I went through it too, and well, he'll he's bound to prop up sooner or later. I, I guess the the best thing we could say, Remy, is that uh, last time we did this, we were in a much worse place. It <laughs> If I'm being perfectly honest, Greckles, I'm not fearing for Task's life. He's too stubborn to die. It's winter I worry about the longer we leave her alone. Hmm. Hmm. I know nothing she, can be done about it now. It's just on she's, my mind. She's survived this long, hasn't she? I'd give her more credit than that. If you really want, I could spy on her. I w My instincts say she will be fine. She's been this fine without us thus far. And you should save yourself if Borky needs your help. <clears throat> okay. Maybe afterwards, if you're not drained. Sure. Sure. I am pretty sure that he will be fine. I sure hope yeah. so. I'll be pets, Borky. <laughs> <laughs> Borky's kind of got that guts from Berserk mile long stare going forward right now. <laughs> All right. Anybody else want to do anything before you guys reach the bottom? I think we're good. Okay. I heard an inhale, Shempai. What do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> Breathe, I think. You are not allowed to breathe on stream. No. <laughs> it sounded like an epiphany. Breath. That's why I was asking. <laughs> I wanted to say, is it possible for objects? <laughs> we're just realizing there's like a minimal amount of time with Shempai, so we're trying to get all of our bullying in. And right now, really, it's just... <laughs> Just Thank wait till we uh, all the characters in game prank Obby. Just leave Obby by himself. <laughs> no, wait, no, I wasn't trying to bully her. I think she's a really good player, and I just wanted to engage her really. Right. Nice. We have really framed that. <laughs> so, that's some of the worst oh, acting you've ever heard from Bosco. I think in my life. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing it. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's just having Wait, like... robots can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I forgot the English word. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, see what now you put it? me on, what you is put it? me on what the is, spot. What is the what is the thing you're trying to English word? When you have like a self-realization moment of oh, an, oh my an god, epiphany. Epiphany. An, an epiphany. An epiphany. Okay, he's having a robot epiphany of oh my god, this is real. <laughs> <laughs> I am not at home anymore. <laughs> yeah, you're I don't blame you for not know. knowing the word epiphany. It's a weird fucking word. Um, yeah, it definitely. Uh, this is this is. I mean, you you've never left the mountaintop, obviously. Yeah. You've never once left the mountaintop, and all the stories you've heard of like the the surface lands has all been bad. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts going like. <laughs> <laughs> it's shaking. Abby, you're um, gonna be okay. Yes. Are you leaking? Cause you look like you're sweating. <laughs> but robots can't sweat. What is? But, or can they? 
I mean, we don't know. We've only dealt with the low grade versions, apparently. I Why have an opportunity to that? find out one. Uh, well, we have no idea what's going to happen, but Barky looks down at the the helmet with uh, the symbol. He's badly glued on top of it. Mm. Barky just kind of pulls off the piece of metal off the helmet and re-puts mm. the helmet back in his pocket. Just sagely nod from panic. Yeah, I was gonna say Remy too. Good mm-hmm. shit, Kurt. Mm-hmm. This the, the the thing is the thing is Borky was uncertain, so he kept trying to come up with schemes. But through role play, we've removed the need for that. So I know, and that was beautiful yes. imagery. Right. That's yeah, above game and in game. Sagely nod. Well done, Kurt. Mm. Thank, mm-hmm. you, thank you, thank you. You guys make your way down the mountain eventually to two guards who are standing post on the mountain's edge. Uh, two, oh, my cat. Hold on. Can I just take a quick five? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. And I need water really bad. Okay, real quick. All right, we're now, now, quick now, break now, right now, now, guys. Real, real, real One, quick, real quick. Two, okay, three. All right. Actually, now let's all, all right, Shen Pai's alone, quick. guys. Let's get her. Whoa, what? whoa, whoa. Whoa. Bring her for murder. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm, we're I'm just, dying. Finally, guys, we're just, we're just Shen Pai, you're a nice, wonderful person with <laughs> a good viewership. That was Greckles. How could you do and this, Abby? Shen Pai, this is where you say donkey shin. What? Donkey shin. Oh my god. When people compliment you, you say donkey shin. You donkey shin. I don't know what that uh, means. It means it means th- it means thank you. Uh donkey shin. Oh my god. Said, donkey shin. A <laughs> uh, 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 quick question. Shenpai, have you ever watched Helsing Ultimate Abridged? I have not. I don't. I've barely watched. <laughs> don't watch it. Watch it. Watch don't. it. No. No, no. no, do not watch oh, that. No, no, thing. No, no. Yes, I'm thing. leaving. Uh, You, you, you need to binge Connor, the I told you to wait setting. on the trap door. <laughs> <laughs> he already oh, geez, I pulled the lever. <laughs> ah, beans. Wait, wait. Uh... <laughs> Guys, I think I heard Jake and it feels great. <laughs> oh, hey, you're down here too? Oh, hi. What? Oh, hey. Connor, what, Con- Connor, on? what did you two do? Hey, how did you get down here? Guys, you can get the ladder and the rope. Oh, this threw me down here a long time ago. Oh, what the fuck is this? Why is it wet here? What the fuck are you guys talking about? Oh, this is what? Guys, you just get the rope. Uh, uh, it's not. Let's go. It's not long enough. It's only. I'm back. It's I'm only back. three Everyone. feet long. Oh my god! All right, then get the get the twenty. And, and scene. Good job, guys. Good shot. Good job. Right. Sorry, I had, put, I had to put Goblin in my bedroom because she was like. Meowing a whole lot, so no, it's all good. We're just glad That's to have good. you back. Yo, we can, we can we do, was she doing head rubs? Was she doing head rubs, summer salts? No, I opened the door. Head rubs, summer salts. Woo! She knows. You know, she knows we can. can. <laughs> Sorry, go on. No, it's all good. All right, so uh, you guys make your way and are met by two young uh, orc guards, um, probably around your age, Borky, maybe a little younger, um, and they're pretty armed. They're armed to the teeth. Uh, Are those the guards they, we walk past? Uh, you don't walk past them. They stop you and they they point their weapons at you. Can can I hide? <laughs> like, uh, yeah. sure. roll, a, roll a stealth check. Okay. Oh, hold up, Borky's bangs. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, stealth check on his head. Hides in the oh, hair. This is gonna be really, really, really bad. <laughs> Dude, it's gonna be like the Homer Simpson hedge gif. Eleven. <laughs> Oh, can Borky hold his not hand bad. up? Can Orky hold? Because can Borky hold his hand up to help with that? Like just <laughs> you know, wait, she's wait. trying to hide. No, I'm, I'm I'm holding my hand up like a hello. How's it going? But I'm holding she, it up we, right. But she her. hides behind the giant okay, mitt. Guys, 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 calm down. This is the I next hour. Where this is the next I hour is going to be this. I combo. love you guys, but I know it's been two weeks. But calm down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, the two orcs do see you, Abby, and they kind of give like this quizzical, like head tilted glance, but then break away and look at you, Orky, uh, Borky. Sorry, orcs. <laughs> Both are correct. Oh, okay, Both are correct. Mr. Orky. Uh, the one kind of they kind of have like a braid running from like the the kind of the the point of their where their bangs would be all the way round the neck. Uh, kind of walks up to you. Uh, they have a kind of a javelin in hand and walks up to you and goes, a orcish. Like kind of this deep guttural language. You mountain people have returned. Borky just turns at him and just says in Orcish, 
yeah, yeah, you know, you know, you know, Klingon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> who shot uh, Borky just turns. Yes. We're back from the top. And Borky holds in his hand the piece of silver. I hear them kind of muttering to each other. Um, one of them you can kind of catch says, that's a strange sun shape. And they kind of like gesture to follow. We follow them? Yeah. Are they going to get on mounts? Because are we, are we going to have to clip clopping? You guys are clip walking. Pop. You're going to walk. This is a village. You're not running through the village on your mounts. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. Put the fireworks away, guys. Aww. You're, Aww. The one jump, you're the one jumping the gun, buddy. I stopped casting Panic's Pyrotechnics. <laughs> God. Uh, as you guys make through, uh, make your way through, uh, again, you've been to this orc village before. Abby, you have not. Uh, this is a very, very, very large orc encampment. You can often see it at the top of the mountain. You can see the fires mm -hmm. below. You see massive bonfires, these buildings made of wood and crude metal. Uh, and rock and stone and like kind of mud clay cement um first of all everyone here is jacked um oh. are, like, borky and are are very big and very strong looking there are some children uh and even the female orcs are just as buff like oh. ev everyone here is is very very strong looking um and there's a lot of orcs here like there's probably about a hundred orcs here um, as you kind of turn the corner, you watch as there's like three orcs currently butchering a goat. Oh, all you hear you. is trinkle of oil. <laughs> <laughs> as you guys um, make is, your way, is it uh, uh, organic or like what? <laughs> it, you know, it's as organic as it could possibly be. Gross. Mm. <laughs> Deep mm. inhale. As you guys are making your way through the village, you're definitely turning heads. <clears throat> and a lot of people mostly are noticing, like, Borky and everybody else. And people do notice you, Abby, but they don't really stare at you. They just kind of like, oh, and then just kind of keep, keep about, like, either follow or stay to their business. You watch, okay. as, you watch as one orc is, like, tanning a hide and one of the other orcs standing next to them kind of goes off to follow you guys and the other orc that's standing guys like oh, 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 and kind of goes back to tanning the hide as that younger orc kind of runs to follow this sort of parade that's that's behind you guys and kind of all muttering to themselves eventually you guys are led to the center of a village to the massive stone throne uh sat upon by agronac uh, around you see now that in front of him is, is a giant stone, uh, almost religious symbol. Um, this you couldn't see originally, um, as there was a bit of a crowd, but now you can kind of see it as you're led forward. Uh, on it, you see piles of bones, uh, various humanoid creatures. Um, and also notably, uh, as you guys made your way through the village, you saw that massive pyre of bodies, which has since, even over a few days, has gotten bigger as you see stacks of cave cave bears and a few more dragon wormlings now added to that massive pile and that big jawbone. Abby, when you see this pile of corpses in this giant jawbone, despite not having a nervous system or skin, you your your center feels chilled. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Eventually, all of you on your mounts are led to Agronac, currently sitting on his throne, eating what looks to be an apple in messy, big bites. He's flanked by two other orcs who are just kind of conversing, and he kind of... Is he clutching it in his hand, hand or is he eating it with a knife? Because it's different energies. He's got it in his hand. He's, he's eating okay. it out of his hand, but it's like okay. loosely in his hand as he's just kind of leaning back on this throne with his one foot up on one side. It's not like a, like a regal presence it's a i'm in charge sitting here and i don't give a shit what you think sort of posture with the kind of uh the the leg looped over one side where the arm is supposed to go mm. um and he is just as nasty as you remember him uh he's a scary the, bitch he's pretty big and pretty scary yeah and he kind of sees you all approach takes one last bite of the apple and chucks it off to the side 
and stands up and like kind of wipes his hands on his his forearms and his other hands and stands up and goes and Orkish says, so you have returned. Borky uh, gets off his mount <clears throat> and uh, looks up at Hagranak. Says in Orkish, yes, I completed that fun challenge of yours. You are the one who wanted to go up the mountain. I see that one of your companions has fallen or perhaps got a new set of armor. He kind of looks towards Abi. Now, he has more important things to do on that mountain. Borky smiles. Why don't you come down and see that piece of silver that you were so inclined to receive? <laughs> he just kind of sits up on his, on his uh, throat and goes, One such as yourself does not command a war chief. Oh, so you don't want to see it? Borky just kind of has it inside his pocket. Yes. <laughs> Get it himself. I I can't actually hear you, dude. Oh, uh, mention how none of them could get the get the silver themselves. Well, I would assume you'd be excited to come down and receive this, seeing as how no one in your tribe could get it, including yourself. Mm. He tiredly kind of lulls up to his feet. <laughs> Does he make dad oh, noises getting up? Uh, no, he just gets up. You hear the crinkle of his uh, of his armor. You hear the sound of his weapons kind of clanking <clears throat> against the stone of his throne as he stands up and walks up towards you. <laughs> I wonder what task would think if he was here. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Already, so he's stepping down the his little. Yeah, he's right thing. in front of you. He's standing right in front of you. He looks very nonplussed about this. He's already kind of pissed off looking. Borky uh, holds it up with uh, to his thumb and his, and his pointer finger in front yeah. of him, like a like 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 the one ring to rule them all. Because and... from, from oh, what was it shaped like again? It's shaped like a gear. You took it from the mountain. It was a gear that was part of the mountain. Borky has his his hands in circle. His hands, his, his, two, his finger and his thumb on the center of the gear. And then before he touches it, Borky spins it. Like in his, hand. on his finger? Yeah. In a flash, Agronet snatches it from you. <laughs> and holds it up to the sun and kind of sniffs it. And he licks it, too. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Mm. So you did make it to the top. That we did. But what proof do you have that you did not find this on your way? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question. Abby! Yes? I'm guessing you come up from behind the head. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Arby, where did I? Where did we receive that gear? On the very top of the mountain. Arby, who are you? I am a construct. Borky, Borky, they can't speak common. You're going to have to translate. B Borky is going to translate. But there's a. There's, I'm going for something here, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, I have, I have faith. I'll assume you're translating for the sake of the sequence. This is, this is Arby from the mountain high. One of the protectors of the silver up there. And they have joined us down here to see this given to you. This whelp. <laughs> he kind of points, uh, he points, he brings out his great axe and kind of, he holds it kind of midsection and just points it right towards you, Abby, like just right in front of you. Like, whoosh. Um, he's actually not going to move. <laughs> he's just do, we, do we have those? But silly question: Do we still have those bags of parts attached to one of the of one of wizards? A Borky, a Borky says, and Borky kind of just turns back. Guys, show him some other stuff that came from the top. Oh, kind of like I was, I was waiting for this. Yeah. 
We just unload it. Okay. You dump it out in yep. front of them? Yeah, we dump all the parts of those monsters. Well, I'm keeping my clock. I paid an arm and a leg for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Keep the clock. Keep the clock. I'm just, I would. I'm just, I would actually. I'm just I, having it with me. I would also. I would also say just above game. This would be something that we would not let them take because these are our spoils. Uh, Agronac crouches over top of this of this bounty, this pile, and kind of picks through it, just like kind of looking and like again. He like he puts his finger through some oil and he kind of rubs it. And he turns to like one of the other orcs and turns and says in an orcish like black blood and kind of like wipes it off on his pants and then picks through it, the legs, the the main sort of the thing that almost killed you, panic, um, and they kind of pick through the body. So this thing is dead now. Yeah. And the other beasts in the cave, you slayed them. Oh, yes, we did. One who had a spear. The length of two of your war axes. Pissed. What of us? Where he just kind of gestures back to the wrong side of panic. <laughs> <laughs> just gives him a little finger wave, like, how you doing? You watch as Agronac look, looks back towards you, Abby. I'm going to roll it. I'm going to say roll an insight, Abby, on this. Order. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh! 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 <laughs> Delicious! Ooh, yeah! Natural 20! <laughs> Natural 20. He looks at the body of this creature. He mm -hmm. looks at you. He looks at Borky. And he looks to all the orcs that are gathered around him. And you immediately get a horrible, horrible premonition. A horrible, oh, yeah. horrible feeling as Agronac stands on top of his throne and calls out to all the orcs and orcish brothers and sisters our time to take the mountain is now the assassin of the cave has been slain and these <laughs> are the warriors that await us at the top and he points towards Abi pathetic small men in cans of steel, we shall crush them inside and take what is ours. And you watch now as all the orcs raise up and begin to roar. Assemble the war parties. And Borky just says, no, top of his lungs as loud as he can. What you will this? not do something so foolish. And who are you to stop me? A real fucking orc. He turns to his men. All of you! Kill these pathetic whelps. You're mine. And I need everybody to roll initiative. Oh, me. hell yeah. Oh, 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 boy. For this. Uh oh. Am I the only one that's <laughs> happy oh, for boy. combat? <laughs> Uh, dude, I cannot wait to kill all these motherfuckers. 21. Uh-oh. 12. Stinky. Oh, whoops. There we go. 11. <laughs> Here I go. 15. 21 and 5. Also, I'm going to go with a 21. Also, Zito, if you're there, you can go get a drink and a snack or whatever. This is a nice time <laughs> to sit back. Zito, go stretch your legs out, you know? Yeah. Go and and get water and get some water. I, I warned Zito about this. I'm like, the big su summary of this of this episode unfortunately is going to be a lot of combat so nah, dude, fine i can go make All dinner right. uh, <laughs> what do we want to do this I'm trying to find my music here i will ask one thing though monty can i post memes in chat you know what <laughs> fine thank only you this, only this can time I Excellent. Only this one, Zeta, because you did a good one. one. Oh, okay. yeah. Re remember, like, okay, so so Shempai can breathe, you can post memes. Two essential things needing to live. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so honored that you guys let me do this. <laughs> Thank you. You, got, you guys want to see your map? Please. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for you guys to fucking scream. Hell oh, yeah. No! Shit. God. Hi guys. Ha! Uh, hello. <laughs> Is this what you would call a brew moment? 
A bra a moment? Bro moment. <laughs> moment. A bro bro moment. <laughs> it's not a bro moment, bro. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's grab those initiative rounds here. We have, ooh. Okay, uh, it's gonna be Greckles first. And then we have, we have Greckles, we have Borky. Uh, Borky, I think it goes without saying you're in a duel with the leader. I figured. Yeah. And then we have Remy. And then we have... Oh, whoops. That's not what I meant to press. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Sorry. <laughs> what? Oh, no. This is what they meant by, I want to get stuck in with the boys. That's what they meant. Oh, no. I hate this. Alrighty. I love also, when I misclick. <laughs> also, I'm gonna grab some different music. In fact, I think I'm gonna Welcome. grab. Uh, I wanna grab. Den -den -den -den. Den -den no, no, I got. No, I, I can. Can it be like the the rising spirit from Naruto? Thanks, Taka. Now we're gonna get flagged. Thanks. And yeah, we just got DMC How's that? muted. How's that, everybody? That's, Is that coming out good? Solid. Yeah. All right. So, Greckles, you are up first. All right. Mechanical question. Yes. Um, because we've always treated offhand attacks as, as um bonus actions, correct? Uh, with a light weapon, you can make an offhand attack without your modifier applied, yes. Right, okay. So, first things first. Um, Abby, you, you see Greckles uh, clasp his hands together, and suddenly his body vibrates quickly, faster, 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 until three images split up uh, as he has some mirror image. Okay. <gasps> so, that's a... Mm, illusion spells are always a, a freaking novel to read. Uh, but we've been here before. Um, you have three duplicates, I believe. It um, is. Every time I I try to hit you, I have to roll a certain thing. You, yeah. you you have to. It has to beat the. It has to beat the DC, which or AC, excuse yeah. me, it, which is ten plus Dex, which is. Uh, I have to roll a D, I have to roll a D twenty, and it has to be over a six to. Um, uh, it, it hits a duplicate if it's over six. If it's under if, six, it hits you. If yeah, if you hit if you hit an AC fifteen. Um, then I roll a d20. Okay, and then it hits a, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is going to be complicated. All right, uh, so. That is your action, so you've, you've casted this as your action. And thus I have movement and bonus, correct? You have movement and bonus, yeah. All right. Yeah, sure. Uh, how you're, how not, you're not you're not fighting the chieftain. That's the chieftain. This is a duel between these two orcs. Oh, Yeah, well you guys then. immediately are, are being beset by all these other orcs. Oh, right now okay. is in combat with the chieftain, yeah. Okay, so it's just a straightaway, everything's coming forth. Okay. It's protect yeah. Borky, so he can do what he needs to do. It's, it's Borky's an orc and is being treated with orc honor. The rest of you guys are outsiders and thus should just be slaughtered. Oh, That's what's it's... happening. Yeah. Oh, Steve, I Kill didn't- Kill the I didn't, sexy birds! I didn't, I didn't quite, I didn't quite get that part. Um, okay then. Sorry, I got a that that put a little bit of a gap in my plan. Give yeah, me a sorry. I, I thought I thought that was clear, but I may have yep. probably fucked that up. So no, you're good. Sorry, sorry. if you can hear me, I need you to shoot a lot of arrows in this direction. Shoot them really high so they land wherever you want. Okay, Monty, I need uh, you to make me. I need you to make me a. Oh wait, no, I can't do that. Ah, uh, shoot. Can I yeah. with can I can I withdraw that action now, knowing what this was supposed to be? Um. Cause if 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 sure. if I knew that, yeah. Cause that was sure. the yeah. I'll be nice because that was on me. So yes, I will allow this this once. So okay. Instead, Abby, you see the exact same thing. Yet a gigantic uh, cloud of smoke appears uh, just to the right of all of us. Um, if you can draw me, oh, I lost my place. Hang on. Okay. Um, if you if you can if you can box me, Monty. Yeah, I assume you want to catch. I'm trying to catch this 20 foot square. Okay, can you go down for me? Yes. There we go. Boom. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. That's 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 noxious gas or whatever that spell is. <laughs> this is a fog cloud. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's that. Um Ooh. 
I will... <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to move... A, you know what? Screw that. No, I'm just going to stay where I'm at. Um... Dang. Uh... You know what? Screw it. Um... <laughs> I've got Todd. Um, I'm gonna offhand attack uh, the or to the uh, to the south nearest to us, to the okay. uh, southwest. The one that's closest to the south of you, absolutely. Just for the record, for those watching, listening on the podcast, there's like <laughs> almost oh. thirty. Oh. Orcs. Oh. Well, I'm glad it can come back to me. <laughs> Alrighty. We're gonna roll severity though. Oh, little... good. Uh, okay, it's not severe. You just miss, and like the orc kind of sidesteps the the dagger and kind of <laughs> snarls towards you, and you're like, ah, and you flex your hand, and Todd reappears. Damn, I, I missed him. I do not giggle like a ninny. I push my hat forward like Popeye the sailor and get ready for the fight. <laughs> More spinach for Popeye. <laughs> all right, that's right. I'm sorry, Monty. That 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 took longer than I wanted. No worries, no worries. You're you're all good. That was kind of my fault. So, uh, Borky, it is now your turn. Well, time to go. I would, I would, I would, I, I would, I would like, I would like yeah. to uh, frenzied rage. All really right, frenzied <laughs> rage. There we go. All right. So this is your bonus action. So the first turn you get two attacks. You don't get your bonus action attack because it takes your bonus action to go into the rage. Okay. So Borky is going to immediately pull out Ravall and just swing immediately. All right. 25. That will absolutely hit. Bang! 12 points of damage plus 3. 15. Okay. That's going to be... Yeah, 15 points of damage. That is nothing to sneeze at. Borky immediately... He's just jumping right into action. No jokes, no comedy. And Borky with another swing. 14? 14 just hits. Okay! Oh. He's a barbarian too. And that is 14 plus 3, 17 points of damage. 17 points of damage. All right. That's going to... Sorry, let me just do some math. I'm just going to grab a calculator just for these calculations. Yeah. Because you're doing double-digit damage. Yeah, buddy. And that's 17. It's all because of my friends. My right. or, My Oriwa Nakamus. That was close enough. That ends mm. your turn, Borky? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, it is Agronax's turn, and he is going to go into a rage. Son of a son of a gun. Yep. Wait, does does Runfall count as a magical weapon? He is a magical weapon. Yep. He. Unfortunately for you, though, uh, the a magical weapon doesn't affect the rage. The rage resistance is not affected by magical damage. So. Hmm. Huh? Right. If that's what if that's what you're celebrating about, asking why if Ron Paul's a magical weapon. No, I, I still slashing damage. We're just curious. Yeah. Um. All right. All right. This one's gonna take. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Sorry, I'm just reading up. This is fun. I get to do special things with no. this. With this, real fast. Uh, all righty. Uh, okay, and, okay, and, and, okay, all right, and, and, okay, awesome. All right, sorry, I just want to double check a couple things to make sure I'm good to go. So, uh, you watch as he goes into a rage, and you watch as from the altar behind you, a swirling black Icarus mist rises from the corpses and begins to rush around him, coalescing around his arms, his face and shoulders, almost like a necrotic armor. Oh, oh. Sh oh. shit. And he is going to swing at you. Uh, that is going to be a 21 to hit. That hits. Okay, that is going to be... He swings with this great axe, this kind of thorny bone great axe, and strikes you deep into the shoulder, just as you have with Ron Fault. And you are going to take. Uh, you are going to take ten points of slashing damage. Half down to five. And. What? Oh, half down to five. Uh, half down to five for that. Yeah. Okay. And you are going to take 
eight points of necrotic damage. Son of a bitch. Okay, this was... He got the demon god power. Mm, shit, he does. You feel the power, boy? The power of Ganache? Your body will make an excellent addition to his pyre. I've never heard you say that name before. Who's that, your mom? Classic. <laughs> cool. All right. It is now the others, the other orcs' turns. Uh oh. Meep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna roll for all of the orcs in the fog cloud, which to which there is uh, six of them. So first orc. I did my best, uh, gang. <laughs> actually, I'm just gonna roll the random direction they're gonna go. That's more fun. Uh, this one is gonna move its full movement out of the fog cloud this way. Uh, so it's gonna run into a house by accident. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. The second orc. Oh, uh, that one is going to move north, so it's actually just going to move up that way and kind of see out of the fog. It's going to jump over, uh, and it's going to make its way around here. So I just want to make sure I have that right. Uh, and then, yeah, it's going to be bonus action aggressive. Sorry, I gotta grab my stats here. There's a lot of things to juggle in this fight, so be patient, Cons please. Considering there's what, 30 different NPCs? Yep. Um, yep. He is going to move aggressively towards you, Remy. Okay. So he moves his entire additional plus 30 feet, and he's gonna come out screaming with a great axe towards you. Uh, that is not gonna hit. That's an 11. As he comes screaming out of the fog cloud and swings, you bring up your shield and you hear this clanging spark noise as you block the blow. The third orc in the fog cloud uh, is going to immediately beeline it down and is gonna use its aggressive uh, to move towards panic because that's the closest person it can see through the fog cloud. So it's gonna move right here. Okay, roll 20, calm, calm the hell down, please. Uh -oh. It's like spazzing out. All right, the fifth orc in the fog cloud uh, is gonna run into the house by accident. <laughs> <laughs> I love and, the spell. And this is kind of homebrewed, by the way. This is not how this spell is supposed to work, but I find it more fun. And this one's gonna go the wrong way and get lost. <laughs> All right. But meanwhile, all the other orcs mm -hmm. uh, are going to make their way around not all of them at once a lot of them are actually staying back and pulling out javelins and getting ready Ami, oh. as you're standing there immediately two orcs rush you uh oh uh the first one uh is going to swing again with with a with a great axe towards your little your little robot body uh oh uh that's definitely gonna hit that's a 24. yeah okay uh, that is going to be uh, 12 points of slashing damage to you. 12? Yeah. Ooh! Pretty good hit for them. The second orc is going to run up and swing. Uh, and that's going to be a seven. And that's going to miss. That, as that the, definitely as, misses. As the first orc swings and hits you, and you're like, wait, wait, no, stop. You get smashed in the face, and some, some little pieces of metal kind of fly out. The other orc comes to, like, hit you, and it gets, like, he tries to hit you in the stomach where the vitals would be. And he just gong this loud <laughs> metal noise, and he's like, he kind of shakes in place. Um, panic. You watch oh, no. as a couple of the orcs in the fire kind of point and yell, and, and orc, uh, Borky, you hear, kill the goat man! And you watch as two orcs uh, will charge you. Goatman. Me? Yeah, oh, you, you, you're the greatest of all time, dude. Uh, of course. That's going to be a nine for the first swing. Nope. So the first one runs up and swings you duck underneath and it barely clips your horns. <laughs> hey, no, watch the horns, watch the horns, he says. The second one is going to swing. Uh, that's a natural one. Um, <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna roll severity. Uh, okay, so he just misses you. He goes to swing and you jump over his swing. You gotta Alrighty. have that Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome thing where someone swings a two-handed axe, kind of misses, but then he's like the the haft is between his legs, so Max just kicks it and hits the guy in the groin with it. One of the greatest nat ones of all time. Uh, this orc is gonna uh, it's gonna use its aggressive to uh, go towards you, Greckles. Mm-hmm. 
and it is going to swing at you. She is, I think, going to hit with a 20, a soft 20. Oh, I would assume so. Okay. Uh, that is going to be uh, eight points of slashing damage to you. As you cast the spell, this orc immediately roars and charges you and swings at you and kind of kind of clips you in the in like around the face, like the clavicle of the chest. Mm -hmm. And it's not deep, but it definitely gets you as you kind right. of stumble backwards into Remy, who's holding up this shield, holding this other orc at bay. Uh, this other orc back here is going to move over this way and is going to throw a javelin at you, uh, Greckles. Oh, good. That is going to be a uh, 15 to hit you. 15 does not hit. All right. It, they throw the javelin and you manage to kind of like, like almost like Matrix style bend backwards as it strikes into the fog behind you, disappearing in a in a little plume of, of airy smoke. <gasps> Remy, I think we're in trouble. The other orcs begin to move. They don't encroach, but they begin to roar and cheer, brandishing their own weapons, watching fray. Uh, that brings us to Panic. It is now your turn. Oh, oh okay. fuck, I'm not- Oh, I can't say it! Ah! Hmm. Well, first of all, while I'm, while I'm measuring here, I'm gonna use a bonus action, uh, and a Bardic Inspiration point to activate Mantle of Inspiration. So, that means that Borky, Greckles, Remy, Abby, and myself all gain eight temporary hit points. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bless. Uh, you can use a reaction to move without taking opportunity attacks. <laughs> Yay. Yeah! Uh, ooh, Greckles, wait, before you move. Okay, what's I up? I suggest this. Uh, can we reach it? Hang on. For those in the podcast, there's a lot of arrows being pointed around a battlefield. Yeah, right. yep. <laughs> we're just like, what, we're, what about this? some risk plays being done here? I'm measuring my AOE abilities. <laughs> so, while, Monty, can I motion to something while now, I'm moving? Guys, don't forget you cannot go through enemy units. You can only go through ally units. So you can't uh, go through the orcs. You gotta, you gotta measure it. You, you can, you can it move. Yeah. You can. I could still Wait. get there. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I'm yeah. not moving through. You, you, don't, you don't take attacks of opportunity when you move this way. Borky okay. kind of like jumps to the Perfect. side and stands on his throne. Oh, oh, he snarls at that. He's not. Agronak looks fucking pissed about that. <laughs> I, I, uh, I highly, I highly recommend more people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so panic. As Remy's moving to this spot, he's gonna point at the house in front of him. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Abby, you can, you can do this too if you want to, just to get out of the way. Yeah, you can move, uh, Abby. Oh, I'm stupid, right? I'm just gonna move where, uh, <laughs> over here because I'm baby. <laughs> oh, right. all right. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy, <fuck> it. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, oh, I feel Lord. like I feel like if this is allowed, I feel like I feel like Remy should be able to yell out battle commands. I it's not my turn. I can, but it's not yeah, my turn. All can. I did was point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I, I, it's fine. It's it's totally fine. I want people to play their characters the way they want to play. If it doesn't work, it's all good. Oh, oh, Zito, Zito's typing. Oh, we're about to get some uh -oh. some. This could be right, sad. Some, some, some I'm dang sorry, dang. I literally just <laughs> fucked my. Just had it, <laughs> what what happened? Oh, what happened? Huh? What, what happened? You, what did you do? Oh. oh, my brain just like kind of shut off for an entire thirty seconds there. I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was like watching all of the rulers move around. No, you're good. I was uh, like, okay, Whoa. I'm gonna I'm gonna move 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 fifteen feet next to Remy. Uh, and then I'm going to cast Shatter at fourth level. Yeah, I was. All right, uh, where are you casting it? Right here. Wait, yeah, right Abby, you might want to. Abby, you, you might want to come with us. That's no, a. It, how big is it? It's gonna hit. Ten it. foot radius. So. All right. For the sake of dramatics, uh, Agronak will not be hit by this. Yeah, that's well. He he's not even in range, so he's oh, 15. okay. 
Yeah, so these four are going to get hit. All right. Mm -hmm. So that is a constitution saving throw? Constitution saving throw, yes. All right, and it's four. How many orcs are there? Four orcs are there. So I'm going to roll four d20s with each one. All right. That is, ooh, these are really good rolls. I'm so sorry. Uh, that is going to be a, a 14 for this guy up Fa here. Fail. Okay. Uh, a soft 20 for this guy right here. Pass. Uh, this guy got a 15. Fail. Okay. And then this guy down here, uh, he got a 18. Pass. All right. Let's go ahead and roll your damage. Okay, Shatter, break. fourth level. Connor, break the curse. Must break the curse oh. of the Shatter damage. Oh, well, it was oh. a little curse. Just a little curse. Uh, 27 uh, under damage. All right, and that's half, and half is going to be 13. Give me one second to calculate all this. 14 if oh. you're positive. That is gonna one. Be... Okay, so this guy, as you cast Shatter, his body goes flying in the explosion. <laughs> <laughs> can, can the other guy just get gibbed? Just explode Gmod style? I'm gonna just X him out for the sake of him being there. I think I think we should turn on Gmod physics when someone finally dies. So whatever the last hit hits him with, they just fly. Uh, this guy here, uh, he succeeded, so he's gonna take 13 points of damage. Uh, he is still standing. He's definitely taken some damage as he wipes the blood from his face. Uh, this orc here uh is gone he he also is thrown like 20 feet in the air and smashes to the ground in a bloody pulp yeah this orc here uh is still alive but he is missing an arm his arm got blown off <laughs> <laughs> he oh lost his arm oh no it's got bloated off it looks like he's been disarmed, disarmed. <laughs> uh... say it taka Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, that that works. What did you All want right. me to say? I get um, it. And oh. uh, with with the other fifteen feet of my movement, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> over here. <laughs> All right. As you stand next to that orc, that orc is pulling out its its axe, seeing what you just did. They thought it was easy pickings. Now all the orcs are like, oh. Wait, I get it. All righty, Remy, it is now your turn. Okay, I have. Three very important questions before I do anything. Number one. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I no. I want to make sure. So number one, are we considering Volo and the Mounts hiding somewhere? Mm -hmm. They have left this combat. They're hiding. They're okay. Cool. Stable. So we're gonna say good, they're in okay. a stable right now. You guys got off of them and walked here. Okay. Cool. So number two, uh, these buildings that I'm looking at. Uh, how many? different ways is it just like an open like tent where you can just walk into it is there they're, they're kind of like lean to's so they're kind of like uh patty like they kind of have a porch and then as you go in it's like covered inside so it's kind of got open. it Are, yeah. two floors it looks like uh, on each single of these? single floor for each of these the only one that doesn't have a single floor is this one which is actually like a watchtower okay got it uh and then and then uh the the specifically the one that panic is closest to that has a roof uh, that one, yes, has a roof to it, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, what is it made out of? Uh, it's made out of very strong-looking uh, dark wood. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right, so all of that being said, uh, Remy is going to... Oh, motherfucker. All right, he's going to move here. Uh, actually, no, this would make more sense for right now. No, because then... No, right here. Okay. Uh, and then he's going to bark out <laughs> orders, so the four of you will all hear him say... Uh, <clears throat> Abby, you need to move to us. Panic. Dimension door to the roof with her. Greckles, stay down and attack the ground troops with me. Huh? <laughs> you heard your orders. Uh. I couldn't tell you not to move on your other turn, so I'm telling you now. <laughs> Let's think of the same thing. Do that. Uh, all right, great. Oh, also, just an aside as the DM. Shen, don't forget you have items. I forgot. I am yes. <laughs> By the way, Shin, welcome to your first combat. Which welcome is the to biggest this combat. deep end. Welcome which to is, this deep end. Which is the biggest combat we've ever had. By the way, I is mean, it? yeah, I guess I'm it, is. Looking, it is. I literally have a glowing sandwich. <laughs> and then Monty, I'm going to attack oh. this person in front of me twice. 
Okay. Go uh, the first the first one will be with bloom bo uh, booming blade. All right. Uh, eleven. Eleven. Did you want to flank with panic? Uh, no, because uh, that would put me in the attack zone of somebody else. So no. Ah, uh, fair enough. It also wouldn't have helped me on this roll. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, it's not gonna hit, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, one yeah. more. Swing and a miss. Uh, twelve. Doesn't hit, unfortunately. All right. No, you no it's all good. God, you're uh, gonna it. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. Uh. So, flavor-wise, <laughs> Remy's going to pull out his sword uh, and swing it twice at this guy to make him dodge. And then uh, everybody will hear him cry out, It's time to get Orky! Wah! And uh, he's going to try to attract the attention of the other orcs. Okay. Away from Borky. Oh, God. AoE no. taunt. Nice. All right. That brings us to Obby. It is now your turn. All right, uh, quick question when it comes to Chief. You said he had a magical weapon, right? Yeah. He is engaged is... with Borky. He is kind of separated from this fight. There is a duel going on, and you guys are fighting the rest of these orcs at the moment. Uh, so I couldn't, like, give Borky a buff or anything? Could you I? could, yeah. You can do that. You just I'm just for the sake because... of you can't you can't hurt the, the, the chief. Yeah, That's but fight. question, is it, can I, like, is it, like, visible what kind of magic it has? Uh, unless they have a detect magic spell, no. Um, and it depends on what you're doing to cast a spell. So if it's like Bertle and Somatics, or like, it basically means you're moving your hand and you're saying something. Um, so I they do might have notice magic. it. But, yeah. Mm. Usually they don't no. visually. Besides, like, obviously if it's like you want to enlarge a person or something like that, then you op that would be obvious. But what would you like to do? Uh, I was going to do protect from energy, but I don't think there's any, like resistance that I can give him because I don't know what kind of like magical aura this weapon gives. <laughs> uh, let me see here. I'm gonna look at your spells here really quick. No, Porky, uh, by the way, Porky has the magical I'm... sandwich, right? Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, Abby has the magical sandwich. <laughs> I mean, I can give it to you. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, that won't work, unfortunately. Perfection, uh, perfection uh -huh. from energy is from natural energy, so necrotic uh, or radiant okay. is not natural. Yeah, so, not necrotic yeah. or radiant. Sorry. Okay. So, from... He's... Uh, I'm a little bit panicking, and so will Abby. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's like, he heard, like, we, he has to run somewhere, but he's not entirely sure. So, I assume he wants to run over here. Okay, uh, you only have 30 feet of movement, so you can only move 30. Oh, yeah, so, wait, that's yeah. 15, and that's 15. You can, you can, you can go up to 30 up. feet. Yeah, you can do that. Wait, uh, yeah. I guess he's going to do that, yeah. All right. Wee. So, as you run, uh, the yeah. orc that's behind you is going to take a swing at you. Yep. Because you're leaving his combat range. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna fucking miss because it's a five. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As you swing, you kind of like lurch a little bit as you feel the this axe kind of scrape up against you as you're running, and you stand between the two orcs. You're kind of like standing there, like huh, like a little panic. The two orcs just <laughs> who are looking at Greckles just kind of turn and see you between them, and immediately turn towards you in that oh. moment, like like uh, uh, and kind of turn towards you. Okay, but I'm not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are you doing? <laughs> so, Avi is like obviously in this position, but he looks down and he is going to cast Flame Strike. Okay. <laughs> right right mm. here <laughs> in this radius because it's a 10 feet radius. You're going to place it where, sorry? Mm. Uh, right here. Right, and you will, is it you? You will hit Greco. Oh, whatever. No, no. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 no, no, just no, bump it back. No, 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 no. There you go. Back is there. You go. I was like, come on, you got this. Yeah. Bump that shit back. The lights are here for the Come on now. You're gonna hit those three. Let me just make a box. No, those four. Those are all four. Those are four. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely correct. Brother, get the heavy flamer. It's oh, all brother. Can you? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna read flame straight yeah. here. Really? I'll, let me, I'll, let, me let, let me read this out first, and I will explain to the, everybody else what's going on. Uh, it is ten foot radius, forty foot high. Um, holy shit! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Burn. Whoopie Burn. has the spell. So, we're gonna roll all of this real quick, because they're all gonna have to make dexterity saving throws. 
Uh, okay. Uh, so the first one, the one closest to you, oops, I put a little square on him, my bad. Uh, the one closest to you succeeds. Uh, okay. As he got a 19. Okay. This guy's, this guy's fine. This guy here rolled the exact same, so he also got uh, 19, so he's also fine. I mean, they're uh, half, they pick half the damage. Yeah. This guy yeah. here got a 16. What's your spell save, DC? It is 15. Okay, so oh unfortunately God, he succeeds. This sucks. But this guy got a 3, and <laughs> one is a 4, so he super fails. So go ahead and click, just click the spell, and it should auto-roll the damage for me. Cast what well, level, damage. let's go! Oh, oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> well, <laughs> as you guys are fighting and you watch his obby <laughs> running and you're like, no! And you see him running, like you see them just running through this crowd of orcs who are all like about to swing at this this precious little robot in their overalls that they're wearing. <laughs> you watch as the orc goes to swing and obby just thrusts out both of their hands and from the heavens above, <laughs> like, like the prince of Egypt, a pillar of fire, <laughs> comes down upon these orcs. Uh, the one closest to you uh, is gone. Ashes. <laughs> <laughs> These orcs did not know who they were fucking with, honestly. I was gonna say, do you understand what we're capable of? <laughs> Hellfire! Desire! Uh, this one here uh, also is just burnt to ashes as well. Just poof! I, I, have, to read, I have to read this spell. Uh, and this orc here actually survives. Oh, wow. Uh, you can see him currently, like, spinning in the flames at the moment. Oh. And this this last orc, there's no trace of him left. It's just <laughs> gone. Just a, a, it's, just, it's, like one of those, it's like one of those shadows burnt into the steel, like, after yeah. a nuclear explosion. <laughs> that is All a right. waste spell. It is a very so that, good By the way, that spell. orc in there is on fire, right? So he's going to run screaming. <laughs> well, there is it's yelling. Time. Sure. It's, half I cast, I cast time. <laughs> it's time for two scoops of raisins. Connor, Ew. this only lasts just it's instantaneous. It lasts once and it goes away, right? Yes. Alright, so that it's dissipates. So that dissipates and the orc that's remaining, he has both of his limbs. He's just like the skin is gone. He is blown <laughs> in the face. Oh. One of his eyes is boiled over, and he just turns <gasps> towards you like a demon from hell, Obby, and just stares you down. Oh, it's a bad thing his name was Skinny. Uh, actually, his name is uh, Zugarek, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> it's French. You name all these fuckers? Zugarek. Yeah, I <laughs> named every single orc that is on this map has a name. I can't oh, believe you heard of them all. Who's that one? <laughs> Wait, which one? Who's this one? This one. That one there? That one there is... This one? You're dead full one. Dead You're full of shit. shit. <laughs> one. Uh, this one, that one there is Burul. Oh, uh, close. Close. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ooh. All right, Grunk is... Elimination, not complete. Subject still standing. <laughs> All right. Does that end your turn, Abby? Uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> okay. Uh, that him. brings us around to Greckles. <laughs> With his back firmly charred and smelling slightly of roast chicken, he's gonna beeline it because he knows Remy's plan to to get this to get this idiot sandwich going. Uh, yeah. And like and like and 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 like uh and like the the, the sun. And like a good neighbor, Greckles is there. God damn it! You know what? Fuck! I'm just gonna swing. You joke, but Boris, you're gonna summon one of those guys to start blocking damage for him. <laughs> That's oh oh, oh. Plus two. sorry buddy. It's a mm. twenty-eight though. That definitely mm. hits, and you get sneak attack. Mm. Okay, so ten, 10. radiant plus. Okay. What was it? Five? Yeah, it was five. Yes. Oh. Boom. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh. So twenty-eight. Assassinated. As this orc turns and swings at you, Remy, and you kind of like you parry the blade. 
you watch as Greckle's talons kind of like his arm like loops around this orc's neck and you watch as he takes the knife and just jabs the sun blade through the side of this orc's neck and they gurgle and topple down before you. Remy will oh. wink at the Remy will wink at the orc knowing what Greckles is about to do and then smirk at Greckles when his body drops. Uh, oh, just not. wiping blood off his face. Good shit, Greckles. Good. Oh. Uh, that was <laughs> Zunect. They're dead now. <laughs> Good. Oh Quit telling us their names. It's gonna make us feel bad. Uh, All yeah. right. <laughs> Ma Mom and Dad were right about the chickens, and they're right about the orcs. Let's see what you're doing. Okay. Do it. <laughs> All right, so Remember money. Mom and Dad gave you crap for naming Baba the chickens. Ganoush. This is much worse because they're not real. <laughs> All right, let's let the Grickles have his turn. Yeah, sorry. Um, okay, so that was movement attack. Um, offhand, I'm gonna try and finish off um the other boiled chicken nugget over here. <laughs> this time, Nick, go, Nick, fly Whoa. true. Twenty-eight. Let's that go, Grickles. Oh, All right, so this is this is without the plus five. Yeah, yeah. yeah so this yeah. is a straight two damage. Two, two points of damage. He's still standing. Damn. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> what a beast! You, he's like staring down Obby, and you strike him, and he like staggers for a bit, and without breaking eye contact, grabs Nick, plucks it, and throws it to the ground, staring down Obby right now. Oh, oh. Let's see. with the uh -oh. with the with with the rest of the movement that I've got left, because I know what's going on here. I only moved. I didn't move that far. I moved like twenty. Okay. Moved, yeah. Yeah. So. Pitter patter. Right here. Good old mobile. <laughs> All right. All right. I... That's turn. All righty. That brings us to the Borky. Well. Two large men beat each other with sticks. <laughs> I, I think you know what I'm going to be doing this turn, Nadine. I think, uh. Great sword! Run fall right. swings down with all of his strength 25. That hits. Oh. Boom! 12 plus 3, 15 points of damage. Yes! Right. But it's slashing, so... I lost my calculator. Oh, no. Uh -oh. I closed my calculator. Uh-oh. Let's just say he's got 40 hit points left, right? Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Let's just say he dies. No. Sorry, let me just quickly do the math, because I actually have it written down here. I just really quickly do it. Uh... Wait, no. Fuck. By the way, guy, you're an MVP. Move. You can go back and look at the damage. 30, from earlier everyone as well. says it's thir 32 plus 7 if it's half down. Uh, 32 plus 7? Yeah. 39? Plus 7. Because he's raging, right? So he goes down to half slashing damage? That doesn't seem right. Uh, we did a lot of damage well, that first well, turn. The, with numbers, the, numbers, the numbers in the first hold one, on. you did 12. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, guys. I'm just going to look up Forky's damage. Okay. It's plus three, by the way, too, for my rage. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was 12 plus three, which is 15. Sorry. I'm so sorry I messed that up. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Plus 17. Um, so it's 30. Yeah, so it was 32. And then, okay. yeah, so they were right. Yeah, okay. They were. They were. They were. Sorry, my bad. I still need that calculator, though, because I'm, 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 I'm dumb. No, you're, n no, you're just juggling. No, you're uh, you're just would your, would your calculator on your computer work? Uh, I think that's what she closed. Yeah, oh, I gotcha. closed it out of habit, so. All right, yeah, you, you <laughs> slash you slash into him. You're doing a hefty amount of damage to him. Well, Borky's going to swing for the fences here, and that's another slash that he throws, and that's a 16. 16? Uh, hits, yep. Yeah. Boom, Diana, 10 plus 3, 13. Okay. Nice. All righty. Writes down. You swing into him pretty harshly. It is now, I'm Whoa. assuming you're not moving. I have three attacks. That's right, you do. Go ahead. A Borky swings the third time. Swing, swing, swing. Mm -hmm. Oh, ten. 10. Doesn't hit, unfortunately. As you swing once and you slash into his side and he kind of like grabs Ronfalt like, by the blade and shoves it out of his body and you swing again into the shoulder and he does it again. You swing a third time and he kind of loops his axe and almost like spins you around. But you manage to keep your standing. Borky's still fighting on top of his chair, like <laughs> like Borky's like standing on his chair using the high as a high ground almost. Alrighty, that brings us to uh, Agronax's turn. There we go. Da, 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 oh, that goes uh, oh, natural twenty. I activate Ronfall's special ability. Okay, you spend your reaction. <laughs> Yeah. Western Wait, Skies you, Owl. Oh, yeah, you do, you do have your reaction, so yes, you're fine. Woo! All right, so I'm going to re-roll it. 
Wait, no, it, that means I phase out, right? No, you don't phase out. It just lets you reroll. It lets you you have a person reroll their attack, essentially. Okay. Yeah, so they rerolled it. Uh, he still got a soft twenty though. He rolled. Hey, that's um, a big. That's a big change. That's better. That, he has brutal critical, so that's huge. Yep. Yeah. Um. So he is going to roll damage here. It's a dice I never use. It's at least he's trying. Uh, ooh, that's gonna hurt. Uh, that is going to be uh, sixteen points of slashing damage cut in half to to eight. Yay! The buy temporary hit points. And then he's going to hit you with this necrotic energy. No. Uh, that is going to be uh, eight points of necrotic damage to you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and that was his first attack. And he is going to swing with his second. Uh, that is going to be a... Uh, that's going to be a 22 to hit you. Ah, oh, fuck, it hits. Okay. Uh, that is going to be uh, 13 points of, of slashing damage cut in half, but there's no additional necrotic damage because he only gets that his first hit. So. What's the halving down? Because it's an odd number. Uh, sorry, let me just read. That is going to be 13. That's going to be 12. That's going to be 6. So you take 6 points of damage. Oh, okay, shoot. So what? For shit, shit. For I, over, I overclicked. Damn it. I don't know where my health is now. Fuck. What do you mean? I'm using the HP click up and down and I overclicked. So now I don't know where my health is. Shit. Fuck. How by how much? I don't know. That sorry, that's up, the problem. Sorry. Go up by two and just it's fine. Just go up by two and that's what the health you have is. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Sorry. Uh he he kind of snarls at you. He's relishing this fight right now. You can see he's he's loving this fight at the moment. All right, the other orcs now, who are all standing by and we're like, oh, we're gonna watch a bunch of, you know, a bunch of people just, you know, get their asses kicked. Uh, now are all brandishing weapons, seeing oh. how uh, a giant <laughs> torrent pillar of fire showed up and an explosion rang out. So I'm gonna start by rolling for all the orcs in the cloud, the fog cloud. Yay! <laughs> watch out for the dark. Honestly, Greckles, that allowed this whole thing to happen, so that was a really good first turn. I love this spell. I don't yeah. care what anyone it's says. Pretty good. For a single animation frame, two orcs bump into each other. Bonk! It's literally keeping four of their guys confused. It's what you do. It's football. That's what you do. runs out and sees the fray, and he sees Abby, and he's going to use his aggressive bonus action to come up behind Abby. Oh! So he is going to swing at you, Abby. Summer child. Okay. It's fine. I'm Come a hunk on. of metal. Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! You're the luckiest fucking. <laughs> I feel. I feel like. I feel like. You know, you know the movie Robots, Nadine. Yeah. I. F I. F <laughs> Hey, I'll, be dodging, I'll, I'll hey. be dodging with some Robin Williams esque skills. Yeah, right. I was gonna say. Chenpai, I don't know if Monty told you, but taking the luck feet is banned. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh no, You're not allowed no, to have baby, that. What is wrong? How could you? Oh no! I'm not being that was I no. supposed uh, to. Abby, <laughs> Abby, as you're uh, as you're like standing there and you're facing your faces towards towards this like one orc who's like staring you down <laughs> in the flames, you realize yeah. that you dropped the sandwich from your pocket and you're like, oh, and you, you lean down <laughs> to like grab it and this orc swings and hits his buddy because he. Goes, oh. <laughs> 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 I want, I want to see this animated so bad. Uh, uh, so this orc is going to take uh, is going to take five points of, of damage from his friend. Uh, actually, it kills him. It decapitates him. Oh, oh my god. No. <laughs> oh boy, you duck and it's just like, oh no. Ooh, sandwich. <laughs> As you're looking, you pick up your sandwich and you turn your head up. You just watch as one of the orcs just falls down dead next to you. And you're like, oh great. All righty, uh, this orc here. I'm gonna roll for its random direction. Uh, oh man, they left team. Oh man, they left team damage on. Yikes! <laughs> uh, big, big uh, oof. oof. He's gonna Ooh. have to. He's gonna have to make a whole turn here. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker is lost. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Where am I? There's no whole community. Oh, didn't know there was a GPS in here. Uh, uh, it's missed. It's not. Uh, <laughs> this is not very okay. 
This guy's gonna have to go this way. All right, there we go. All right, that's all oh, the no. fog, boys. Fog. <laughs> <laughs> For the sake Fogging of clarity, uh, I'm just gonna do this really quick. Okay. Thank good. you. There's so much scattered around Obby. I just gotta throw that out there. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, pile of bodies! Yay! <laughs> uh, this orc is gonna charge you, Obby, as well. Oh God! <laughs> Please miss. Uh, that was almost another fucking natural oh one. Oh my god! It's not. It's not. It's an 18, Obby, to hit you. Oh. Uh, that's... I, my armor class is also 18. Okay, so it does hit you. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah. Oh, you have an 18 AC? Shit! Yeah. Cleric, man. Yeah, he's a cleric. Uh, that Beep. is 13 points of damage to you, Obby. God! Okay, 13, wait, 13 minus 8, uh, quick maths, uh, that's, like, uh, that's gonna be 5, you're gonna take 5 points of Yeah. F okay. Thank uh, you. Fire Orc, who is on fire, still, is going to stride up to you with his axe kind of slapping <laughs> also on fire. Uh-oh. And he is going to, I'm not gonna roll this dice, fuck this dice, this one can go away, that one's shit. <laughs> To grab this other dice it's far more superior just wait just wait natural 20 yeah uh, oh, oh you, you threw the other one you threw the other one Monty. what's the number on that one huh yeah uh, yeah that one, where'd it go uh oh i don't know where that went there it comes the, the luck See, is what happens when anger takes hold monty uh, uh luckily these guys don't have brutal critical that is, I was worried. That's what I was fucking worried about oh, this fight. Wow. What, a, what is a brutal critical? You take nine points of damage, Obby, with the crit. They roll okay. a five of one on their double die. So. Yeah. Stolen nine. Hmm? So I take nine points of damage. Nine points of damage, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Uh, alrighty. The rest of the orcs. Uh, don't like you guys, so I'm gonna do this from from north to south. This one charges you, panic. Shit. Uh oh, don't do it. Swing towards you. That is going don't to do it. 14 to hit you. That is my AC. Okay, that's gonna hit. Uh, that is going to be seven points of damage to you as he Ooh, ow. And cuts into your leg. No, oh, that didn't even break my temporary HP though. Hellish rebuke. Oh. <laughs> you call that what? a hit? I beat hit by hard force. <laughs> I just, I just look down. The axe is barely sunken in my leg, and I just look up, and I have these demonic eyes, and I go. <laughs> you watch uh, as just like, yeah, I got him too. Uh, like this, this like realization. Oh, what here. the? Start right. the you fucked up chance. What the fuck? Fuck, fuck. Uh, Hug and yeah. release the spikes and let go, and it just drops what dead. Mm. Oh, is your fellow for being broken? I I don't know. Oh, oh boy, hang oh, on. I can oh fix no. it. I, I can fix it. I believe in you. <laughs> God damn it, Zito. <laughs> God damn it, Zito. This is so the podcast, Zito is posting uh like text emojis in response. Like he's like he's like yep. our, our actual Twitch chat, but it's Zito. Why did my Why did I make me. another spell? What the fuck? Hang on. It's 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 over a thousand people condensed yeah. into one person. Connor, I, can just grab, to... I can just grab you hellish review and just slap it on there. Eh, what the Here, I'll grab it for you. Bam. He got it. That's not it. That's not what we need though. Oh. Hold on. Oh, oh, God. Roll twenty. I can just roll two D ten. Wait. No, I I roll for an additional one D uh, yeah. Two D ten. All right, at the... Yeah, you want to do level one. Hellish Rebuke is at level one, and just click it, and then you want to cast it at level two. I can't. Wait. Oh, what? Excellent. Oh, here we go. You have to switch it from a, uh, a card to an actual casting thing. Yeah, that's what I, I also did. Cast... I also cast it at level two, so... Yep. Yeah. So that'd be an extra D10. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, oh, there you go. Oh! Oh, oh baby! Make that, make that deck save, buddy. Uh, he made a nine, and he, again, just explodes into oh. fire. Oh! Ah! Uh, see me shot this man down. This does not deter the other orcs. They are re they're ready to fight. Uh, this one runs next to you. Actually, it's going to run one space behind you, Panic, and is going to swing at you. 
Uh, that is going to be a nine. That does not hit me. As they stomp over their scorched and burning friend, they swing and you just, again, duck underneath the blade and kind of swing around with your coat. I turn to Remy. These guys kind of fucking suck. Uh, this orc is going to run in front of you and is going to swing. Uh, that's going to be a 19 to hit you. Ow, yeah, that hits. Sucks now. <laughs> <laughs> you suck! <laughs> uh, that's going to be seven points of slashing damage to you. Ow, yep, that gets through. Uh, bye bye, temporary hit points. They're going to come down the ladder, which is going to take 20 movement because they're climbing down. And then they're going to use aggressive bonus action to run next to you. I'm going to just delete this. Okay, Mark, yes, thank you. They're going to swing at you, panic. Again. Oh, Remember boy, how we were fun. hoping to keep the army, but okay. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Did not hit me. Good. All right. All right. Uh, this orc, aggressive, is going to move. Towards you, Panic. You say that orc, that orc, that orc, that orc. That, that <laughs> this orc. Oh! oh! Yeah. I don't agree. Welcome back. Uh, that is going to be, I rolled a 12, and then I rolled a 1. Uh, so that is going to be uh, 16 points of slashing damage to you. Holy Ow! Shit. Uh, and then this last orc. You said 16? 16, yeah, with the crit. Okay. Is going to surround you, Abby. All four of these orcs now oh. are surrounding you. Oh, great. <laughs> in place. I'm getting oh, a no, it's like the Monstars. Uh, that is going to be a 13 to hit you. As they swing nope. in to hit you, they miss. All right, that's the north half. Now for the south half. Uh-oh. Uh, Remy, this orc swings up behind you. Okay. It's going to... Uh, that is going to be a 19 to hit you. That'll miss. Okay. He swings and clang, it hits your armor. Uh, this other orc is going to swing up behind you. Uh, that is going to be a 14, which misses. That'll miss. And then this orc is going to swing right in here between you and Panic. I'm just going to swing. Uh, that's going to be a, a really nice nine. That'll hit. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, you missed. Make a dream come true, Bosco. Yeah, right. Uh, this orc is going to maneuver over here and is going to throw a javelin at you, <clears throat> Remy. Okay. Uh, 16. <laughs> uh, 16 will miss. And then this orc is going to move up here and is going to throw a javelin at Greckles. How dare. <clears throat> Excuse you. Uh, that is going to be... Uh, actually, that's going to be a 15. There we go. That does not hit. All right. Misses. You kind of sidestep into your tongue as it lands and sinks about a foot deep into the earth. This orc who's been smithing over here is just kind of now paying attention after seeing like a, just a giant pillar of fire and is like, oh shit, and drops its tools. Uh, and she is going to run out uh, kind of confusedly. Uh, and she's going to move uh, 30 feet. She's going to move uh, 60 feet. Uh, yeah, in fact, she's going to just run into combat. Into uh, are you fucking... Uh, so the orcs can move forever. They have aggressive. They can. Move, I, I know, I know. They, just... have a, they can move a hostile creature, okay. up to a hostile creature. Uh, that's gonna miss though. That's an eleven. So uh, that is that. Uh, these guys are gonna make a firing line and are gonna move into position. <laughs> and this guy's gonna run over here too because he's late to the party as well. Wait, how long is? And the weed. Uh -huh. That's the that's the trademark sound of someone reading a spell's description. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh yeah. You know what? Mm. There is. Yeah, there's four of you. There's gonna be two javelins uh, for each of you, except for Abby. You're gonna have one thrown at you. Okay. So, uh, first javelin towards you uh, is going to be a sixteen to hit. Sixteen is my armor class. All right. Uh, you take eight points of piercing damage as a javelin clips you in the shoulder and you kind of stagger back and slam into the side of the house. There goes my attempts. Uh, the second orc in the firing line uh, is that's definitely going to hit. That's a 21. 
Mm-hmm. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be another seven points of damage for you. Um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna dodge out of half of that. Okay. So uh, three, four. How are you gonna round it? That's gonna be three. You always okay. round down. So you always round down with the with the damage when it's half. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, the two other orcs, Remy, are going to aim javelins towards you. That was, okay. that. That was almost a natural 20. Uh, that is going to be a 17, which I believe misses. That'll you. miss. Correct. And the second one uh, is, is a two. <laughs> that misses. Uh, and panic. I just want to make sure they can still hit you from this distance because you are kind of far away. And yes, they can. Ah, uh, beans. With disadvantage, though. Ooh. That's not I'll take those odds. That's a six. That misses. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot better, though. That's going to be a 15 to hit you. That hits. All right. Uh, you take five points of piercing damage as a javelin strikes you in the back of your shoulder. Ow! And the last one is going to throw one at Avi in the big, big bullying circle that is currently <laughs> at the moment. Uh, that is going to be a... Wait. This dice is shit. The nine and the six are almost right next to each other. And it <laughs> six to uh, nine. That is going to be nine. It's going to miss you. Yeah, okay. All righty. That ends the orc's turn. Panic, it is now your turn. Oh, boy. Panic has a Panic has a javelin in his shoulder. He is having flashbacks hard right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> so, I'm sorry. That was a mistake. Yeah. 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 All right. Just yanks it out of his shoulder. Okay. Time for Remy. I'll, we'll do it your way. Better leave. Abby, come here. Uh, I'm going to once again use my bonus action and a use of bardic inspiration to activate mantle of inspiration. Okay. That's going to hit all of us. Abby can't go through enemies. Abby's trapped. Yep. No, I but have... she can go diagonally. Oh, that is true. Actually, that's a good point. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Yeah, she's not surrounded. She can just yeah. Go. I would argue Abby can walk sorry. between their legs. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, Obby is not a small creature. Obby is a medium creature, more, more of the height of a dwarf than a gnome. But, I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can make my smell. Nope, my smell. Smell. <laughs> just look to a Samus ball and you just kind of pull away. Yeah. <laughs> Obby, come here. I'll, I'll activate Mantle of Inspiration again. It's going to hit all of us. We each gain eight temporary hit points once again. And use a reaction to move. Oh, I don't have mine, so. Wait, I'll I love need to check if I if I go over here. Eh, okay, I'll move. That's for sure. But I'll move like right here. I like around here. Like I'm going here. Mm, well, but you... is that not where you want me? That is how they want to play, guys. Come on. I don't know what you're doing. You're acting like okay. you're supposed to read okay. your mind. <laughs> okay. No, that's this is all right. I I can do it too. All right. I'm gonna yeah, use my reaction to move as well. There you go. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say you all suck, and I'm gonna grab Abby and Dimension Door over here. Talk to me. What? No! <laughs> Abby, you can resist if you don't want to go. You can you can you can resist it if you don't want to go. No! Don't make me go, please. <laughs> Okay, if you don't want to go, I can't read your mind. So. Uh, no. Oh, you so better just, have like you better have like Samus's finisher prepped or something, man. I just <laughs> I disappear over here and I see Abby still over there. I'm like, well, <laughs> uh, hold on, I still have to use my reaction to move. Hang on a second. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, Crackle, you can move too if you want. No, I can't. I use my reaction. You you to That's not what I wanted. Undo that fucking stupid paintbrush. Yeah, I'll get it for you. Thank you. <laughs> Zito, you're never done memeing. Let's be real. <laughs> All right, perfect. That's where I want to go. Boom. Uh, okay, Greckles can move before I do, so that he'll be able to get over here. You Fucking seen, but, why? Uh, but Obby's actually had about two episodes worth of <laughs> channeling a Hadouken. Actually, no, this will work. Actually, no, this will work. Well, that's my turn. All right. Uh, Remy, it's now your turn. Fuck. All right. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. Because my plan. Oh, that was gonna work so perfectly. Uh, let's see. Let's think. Uh, what? Uh, la, 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 la. oh, wait, 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 wait. I got an idea. 
Uh, I'm sorry for ruining it. <laughs> no, you're good. Play your character. No, no, no. That's awesome. You do you. Uh, I'm not even mad. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, bless. So, Monty. Mm -hmm. Oh, fucking Greckles. It's fine. Uh, you know what? Oh. I trust Greckles. I'm going to hit Greckles, but not Avi. I trust Greckles to dodge this. So, right in the middle here. So, uh, Remy, having just moved past all of these guys... Uh, is going to uh, call out. Uh, hang on, which one is it? It's this one. <clears throat> it's Kunlidum and cast Shatter in the middle of all of them. Oh. <laughs> so I need every single one of those orcs to roll. How many? That's seven. Wait. That's John. <laughs> Hold on. Give me a second here. I got to pour out these dice real quick and get a lot of these. <laughs> these dice from Die Hard Dice? They're all from Die Hard Dice. Correct. And it's going to be a, it's a 13 DC, Monty. Okay, one second. I got to get eight dice. That is terrible damage, but that's okay. It's also a con save. Is, uh, it's a con save, right? Correct. And it's eight save. orcs. There are eight well, orcs that are in the way. I yeah. can't I can't dodge Six. out of that shit, but I'll do my best. Six, seven. And I oh, didn't no. do well enough. <laughs> that's fine. Chicken. That, that's fine. You didn't even you didn't even completely take out my temp hit points, so you're fine. Uh, you're good. Really bad. Oh. Sorry. All right. I'm going to roll these in order of the orcs from top to bottom. So. Remember? That's so, easy. so, Monty I, Monty, I went ahead and took my seven damage, just so you are aware. All right. So, this orc here, the one that's closest to you guys, mm -hmm. uh, they, and this is a constitution? Yes. Yeah. Uh, they got an eight. That is a fail. Okay. So, that one is going to take seven points of damage. Okay, the second one next to him. I'm just gonna throw these guys when I'm done with them. Uh, they got a 18. Okay. So they succeed, I'm assuming. Correct, yeah, they gotta beat a 13. Okay, so they take three points of damage, though they take half damage. So that actually hurt them quite a bit. This this orc is like kind of dangly and a little beam polish. Mm. Uh, this orc. Uh, or the exact same thing, so it, it succeeds, mm -hmm. uh, and they take three points of damage. Okay, uh, this orc here got a 19, so they succeed, taking three points of damage. Sorry, this is I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. Uh, this orc here got a 19, meaning they take three points of damage. And then this orc here got a uh, an uh, eleven. So that's that fails. Uh, and they're going to take seven points of damage, but they're okay. They barely even flinch from that. This orc here, uh, thirteen, so he succeeds, but takes three points of damage. Okay. And then this orc here. Last orc, uh, they rolled a 16, so they succeed and take three points of damage. Mm -hmm. I just realized I'm an idiot. Why? <laughs> I confused it's... two numbers. Yeah. I could have teleported up there. Yeah. That's what we were, that was, that we, that that we were trying, trying to do. do. <laughs> <laughs> Remy, Remy basically <laughs> said, you, you would have heard Remy say to get Dimension Door, but I'm totally cool with you playing your character. You're good. No, I'm just stupid. I misread no, two it's numbers. <laughs> we all learn. We've all, I, I've done the exact same fucking thing. Trust me. We all have. Uh, Remy, anything else you would like to do? That, that uh, yes, I would like to speak as a free action. Absolutely. Okay. <clears throat> Greckles, Abby, to me! Don't let them surround you! Alrighty, that brings us to Abby. It is now your turn. <laughs> Abby is gonna just stare directly at the line of orcs down here, and he's gonna do like laser focus from here to here and cast Wall of Flame. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> 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 Like, oh, oh, yeah. Monty. <laughs> Monty. like from right here to right here because it's exactly 60 that's, feet. That's gonna hit all of them. That'll work. To, Monty. I can imagine you're busting out like a laser gun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's like, hey. it's like laser focus. And it's hey, like Shen. it draws like hey, a laser Shen, on the That's floor. how you turn an oops into a damn. <laughs> <laughs> can, can, can we just imagine it's the small smile as the eyes Where? focus? 
Where do you want the line to go? Literally Straight this across. way. All oh, five of them. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> all right. Let me Fuck me. I forgot that you have this as a. <laughs> 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 Dude, I love this. I love this because Monty. it's like. Get this as a forged domain, Claret. Monty. <laughs> it's really funny Monty. because. <laughs> Uh -huh. oh, there's a radius Hit me, baby, too. one more time. <laughs> Intensifies. Yeah, there's a radius, yeah. There's a radius. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, you create a wall. Did I just click it? Surface. You make the wall up to 20 feet, 50, 60 feet long, 20 feet high, and one foot thick. Or a ringed wall up to a 20 feet in diameter, 20 feet high, and one foot thick. The wall is opaque and lasts for duration. When the wall is <laughs> in an area, it must make a saving throw. On a failed save, a target takes uh, one side of the wall selected by you and you cast a spell, deals 5d6 fire damage to each creature that ends its turn within 10... 5d6? Then it's, ah! written, it's written wrong in here because it says 5d8. Oh, five, sorry, 5d8, my bad. Yeah. Uh, so, which side of the wall do you want to be deaf? I, I think I know the answer, <laughs> but... What do you mean, which side of the wall do I want to be deaf? <laughs> it's a torrent fire on either the north side or the south side. So you can choose what direction, whether you want it to go this way or this way, where it's going to hurt things that are within 10 feet of it. Oh! <laughs> and oh. this way! <laughs> yep. We're going to just quickly make a note of that right now. Uh. <laughs> mm, that's going to hurt. Alrighty, so I'm going to roll. Uh, how many fuckers lined up for this? All one, two, three, me. four, five, uh, six, seven. Uh, that is going to be not seven because those guys will only take the damage when they end their turn there. Got it. But then guys five. On the line are gonna have to roll. So yep. So do do I need to do I need to just like click wall of fire? Click wall of fire and the level you 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 cast it at. Which I oh yeah. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Damn it, burn. These orcs really, they picked the wrong fight. <laughs> they did. They were I like how they just, they, they did exactly what I wanted them to do. They bunched up for our AOE spells. Suddenly, suddenly obscuring mist ain't so bad anymore. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So. Fucking plans never work and it's finally working. I love you all. Line these up just so for each orc. All right. Also, thank you, Monty, for helping us out by complying. Mm. What do you mean complying? <laughs> You, you helped us out by grouping everybody up. I don't, they're fucking orcs. They don't understand magic. They just see people like, no. I know, I appreciate it. <laughs> right. by, by the, so, by the. Uh, oh. Can you check your spell uh, for me, Shen, and just see if they take half damage when they fail? Um, They, they take half damage when they fail. Uh, not okay. when they, when they succeed, when they succeed. When they succeed, they take half damage. All right, yeah. awesome. Uh, so this orc immediately to the left uh, is, is alive. Uh, oh. Barely. Barely. <laughs> this orc to the right of him, uh, they are dead. Oh. <laughs> Foof. Gone. <laughs> Foof. The screams ring out, and this and this firewall it, like ignites. And Borky, you're having like a battle, like a battle of the fates right now, as fire is erupting. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, <laughs> fucking <laughs> obvious, like unintentionally making the backdrop for this battle. Oh my god! <laughs> all right. uh, Burn, kill them all, let Oriara sort them out. Uh, the third orc in the line uh, survives, um, barely. There. This is the guy who's got the really funny name. Oh. His name is his name is his name is Snacka. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then the uh, last two. Uh, this guy succeeds and takes half, so he's going to take eight points of damage. And then the last orc in the line, uh, who's is going to take half points of damage as well. So out of all that. One is dead, and the rest are really on fire. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. We are back at the start of the... Unless, Abby, you want to move. You wanna move? I do want to move. I really do want to move. Let's see. Okay. If I move this way, that's 10. And then I'll go over here. Yeah, I'll, I'll take, let him take the opportunity of attack. So I'll okay. go over here. Yeah. Oh no, Greckles. Uh, oh, they're please. Gonna Greckles will move before them. That's why that was alright. Huh? Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a 7 to hit you, so that completely missed Yeah. It. Yeah. Okay. So... Head on up. On so he goes. 
Oh, so that was, but you move five feet, you got 25 forward. Yeah, I, I just wanted to check where I can go, so that's 25 there. You know, as you run, you hear the crackling and searing <laughs> of orc flesh as you're like, oh. <laughs> I'm just imagining your uh, legs are like little, little Hanna-Barbera legs moving really quickly. <laughs> and we're at the start, start of the turn order. I'm, we're just going to take a quick break because I imagine people need to use the bathroom and get something to do. Yes, quick break, quick break, quick break. Yeah, yeah. It's quick time. time. And get back here, you guys. I, I, love I, I am not leaving. I, I will stay here with the chat. I can't <laughs> wait for my turn. So, By the so. Way, oh, go ahead. Hi, guys. I'm, I'm just. No, I'm sorry. I, I warned you this is how the session was. No, 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 no. It's fine. As long as you don't mind me, like, shifting through dimensions in each chat and just fucking around. Yeah. And I've really picked like one of the best like sets of spells, haven't I? <laughs> I, I At least for say, what this is, yes. She started cackling. I'm like, why is she cackling? And then she's like, I cast all fire, and I was like, huh, F is for fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. I forgot you get that. Can we get F's in the chat for Monty? F is for fuck. You heard her. Thank you very much. Hey, 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 um, Connor. I got a hot question for you. The game. Oh, is, he still, yeah. is he still here? No, no yeah, he's he's gone. He okay, well, you, well, Bosco, I'll ask you this then. What do you yeah. want, Crackles? Oh, oh in, in order, in order, for, in order for you to cast Shatter, do you need to see an individual target or just a general area? You need to see. Uh, usually, Shatter is just a general area. Yeah, okay, then we're gonna have fun. we're gonna have fun next round. Then yes. Well. Uh, the, they go before me, so it all depends. <laughs> they no, might not be, no, no, be inclined, no, trust me. Might be inclined to group up after what we just did. Okay, no, no, no. Connor, trust me. We're going to have fun this round. If all you need is a general area, yeah, we're going to have for fun. fire that burns down the whole town. Use for uranium. Bomb! Bombs. And it's for no survivors. Where are you? you? And obviously, one who's actually singing a normal, normal fun song. You have to get it. You and me. You and me. Travel dimensions. What have you guys been doing? Uh, 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 casting fire. <laughs> oh man, without me. I bet, I bet Avi looks like a fucking god in these orcs' eyes right now. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the, all you have to do now, literally all you have to do now after all of us is just say, and this is what happens when you don't praise Oriara. <laughs> <laughs> Oriara granted me this strength. <laughs> don't fucks are all about that, right? <laughs> there are wind worms. <laughs> Bobby's gonna turn into a secret king and he doesn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm king of the ants! That's so warm. <sighs> it's really yeah, you firewall. So I so I have to I have a question for you, uh Shenpai. Yeah. Have you done DD before? Huh? Uh, twice. <laughs> okay, so th so you're you're fairly new. Was it five E when you did it, or was it a different system? I do I think so. Yes. Okay, I, I have. I'm to say really I'm, new. Uh, I am still thoroughly impressed with this being only the third time you've ever played the game. Thank you. <laughs> I think I think you do. I honestly think you're doing a really good job, and you should not feel bad at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Like, you're you're doing like, fine. I, I don't want to cry on stream. <laughs> no, you're fine. No, especially especially because you're playing a spellcaster, which is incredibly difficult to do. Because not only are you figuring out what spells you want to prepare, but then figuring out how to use them, as well mm -hmm. as then also being somebody who can attack, and then your AC. And it's, there's a lot to do as a cleric, and you're doing mm -hmm. a phenomenal job. We have we have rare uses of magic in this in this uh, yeah. game. So, <laughs> yeah. I guess what you say, never, never feel bad for playing your character. Nobody's going to get upset with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What form? Oh, look at that. Someone gave you a gift sub. Oh, that's true. Oh, <laughs> you know what? You know this feeling you have right now? Keep it in character for Abby when it's your turn. It's true. What do you mean? What is this? All we need, all we need is someone to tell you what you're actually doing. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> like, like, all we need, all we need in game is for someone to tell Abby what he's doing. Just like, you realize you just fucking committed an advanced genocide on like, an entire oh, civilization, no. right? 
It was like, I did what? I just followed your orders. <laughs> Don't put this on us. <laughs> also, can I just say that this has been get the heavy flamer of the episode? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> It's Brothers, funny. get the flamer. The heavy flamer. It's really funny because I won't be able to sleep after the session because I immediately have to go to my mom's place and then I immediately have to go to a, uh, to a, to my, what do you call it in English? God, I forgot. Call it. <sighs> no, Gemeinde. Gemeinde house in English. Uh, like the. A parish hall? The what? A church? Like church? The a church? No! <laughs> Sorry, Are what you... is this word? The, what, what is it in the German? Parish, the parish hall? I don't fucking what, know what this is. What is, the, what is it in German? It's like the house for like your town, like the main... Oh, like oh, city hall. hall. Like, city like hall. Government, government hall. Like the government There you place. go, yeah. Yeah, city hall. There, thank you. I am yeah, not smart. What the fuck <laughs> <a> parish hall? <laughs> Parish hall. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, city hall, city hall, <laughs> town hall, city hall. But yeah, because I recently moved out and I have to. Uh, shit, now I forgot that word. Time to look that up as well. <laughs> uh, fucking metal is sin, though. Hell yeah. That's so weird. So they translated it to parish, which means like district. But oh, like, I, don't I have to. I have to read it. It's the district yeah. or parish hall. <laughs> yeah, oh I have god. to. <laughs> oh my god. Shen. <laughs> Go on the memes channel right now in the memes Thank channel. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm posting it. I'm posting it. Posted it, post it in Twitch chat, please. It's great. I did. What Everyone oh, no. Everyone oh, no. Oh. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I have to re-register re that I moved here. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Yeah. So when do you actually I... go to sleep? Never. <laughs> now, hold on, now, hold on a second here. Now, by the uh, way, we all back on weekend. Here? It's supposed to be a mm -hmm. fun weekend. And you're uh, growing again with your uh, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we're good. Philana. Oh, God. Philana Lanax. Philana Lanax. Philana Lanax. Philana Lanax. Thank you so much for making that meme, by the way. They, they made that. Yes, thank you. So, thank you. Also, also. We're, we're back from break. We will get to those. I'm sure Kurt will call out those bits at the end. Thank you to everybody who just donated and did yeah, sub. All right. right. Oh Bye, chat. Going into the ether. Bye, guys. Oh, oh, no. I, have a, I wanted to eat a banana, but I guess. Eat, eat that banana, Dina. I want to put some of this some of this pasta in my mouth real quick. What? You got pasta? Oh. I want pasta. I'm gonna it's go really funny. I'm going to make pasta later. Okay, anyway, all right. I'll have a little mom and dad. Hi, chat. How's it going? It's really right, funny wait. to see people realize I'm German because it's can like. We, can, we... <laughs> yeah. can we talk about how good Shen is doing again? I had no idea, Shen, because I thought, like, with, with, with when we met at TwitchCon, yeah. I thought you were American because it was in America, which was pretty, you know, ignorant. But it's, it's really funny, no, because, like, a lot of people are like, what the fuck? You're German? I don't hear your German accent. And then the moment I say I'm German, all of the Germans, like, start to hear my accent. Like, oh. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I... um,. I was gonna say, don't isn't English like really like taught like a lot there? Like it's kind of. Uh... Well, my dad's from Cali, and I grew oh, up with okay. both German and English ah. at the same time. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. All right, everyone's back. Are we good to go? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will sneak bites of banana as we're doing your guys' thing. All oh, right. away so... I go. Goodbye. Zeta will. Oh, there he goes. I already missed. The Avengers. Hey, Chris. No, I feel you. It's just like the boat arc where I was a prisoner. I feel you, man. <laughs> anyway. Uh, that leads us to Greckles, top of the turn order. It is now your turn, buddy. Hey, Monty. Hi. Do hey. it. Do it, Greckles. Hey, so, oh. you know that box? Yeah, let me, let me just move that shit over Yeah, here. just move that thing. shit right here. Yeah. <laughs> as he, as he just, as he just double flips the bird, it just says, smoke bomb. As you, as you, like, kind of do the hand gestures and all the orcs, like, seeing everyone run away, turn towards you alone, they're like, yeah, we got him, and then it's just white, like just white. I, All right, bo guess what? Bonus action dash, so <laughs> eighty uh, hey, feet away. Hey, All Greco, right. can I make one suggestion? Uh, can okay. you move it? By what? It's his turn. He decides what he does. Okay. No. Suggestion. That's what. That's why I was asking. Do you need a target or just a general area? Yeah. So twenty. Was that thirty-five? So fifty-five. 60, 70. You know, I'll just stop here. 
Wait, what's happening with me? Whoa. Nothing's you're inside happening. of a fog cloud. You, your optics see nothing but pure white. Like a, oh. like a car driving into fog. Where am I? <laughs> You're, 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 you're safe, would, my child. I would say he has windshield wipers, but I remember that his eyes are literally <laughs> fire. <laughs> you just, so, There's no so, Orion no, no, Maniacs no. here. So, so now all the orcs here are these just two little glows in this white. <laughs> Oh, fuck. oh god, that's adorable. <laughs> that's actually that, uh, well, it could be adorable or kind of creepy, depending if he opens his mouth or not. <laughs> All right, so wrapping up, wrapping up my action. Um, just Greckless just looks up. Panic, Remy, blow them to hell. All Alrighty. All right, say one more time. Us. I didn't hear that. Where am I? <laughs> no, it's it's fine. That's, that's All right, true. Borky. It is now your turn. As you're fighting against Agranak, you watch as he turns to you and goes, You've got some strong allies. <sighs> they're not allies, they're my friends. And Borky... Are you worthy to fight amongst them? <sighs> Borky just smiles. Well, I don't know. You'll have to ask my other friend. Borky is going to back off. Okay. Borky's going to back up, like jump back off the... Oh, I'm going to take an attack of opportunity. I'll take it. I gotta grab his stats. Sorry. There we go. Oh, this is interesting. Not great. That's gonna be uh that's gonna be a fifteen to hit you. Hey, uh, it is my armor class, damn it. Oh, okay. He's gonna hit you then. Okay, I'm just gonna double check here. Uh so it's not he's not gonna get that. It's just gonna be a normal hit. Uh, Are you two doing? Uh that is going to be fourteen points of slashing <laughs> damage cut down to seven for you. Okay. Uh, Borky. Say hello to my little friend. Uh, Borky pulls out. Oh, no. Gripples. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a bit of Hi, a because I'm stupid. Was, What's who's that? Gripples? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you might, you might, you might, you might, you might, you might. You go uh, learn today. Borky, you place down the small, uh, half a foot tall obsidian penguin figurine. I don't have it. I have it in my. I have it. I have it in my. I have it. I have it in my uh, inventory. Yeah, I just mean I don't have a. I don't have a. Uh, I don't have a token for it, so I have to put down the NPC token because I don't have. I don't have its old token, unfortunately. You drop Mate. it on the ground and you. I'm. I'm assuming designating it to Agronac. Exactly, yeah. Grepos. Grepos, show him the darkness. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that ends your so, turn. It takes an action to activate him. And Borky takes that action, act, uses that action. All right. Agronak is confused. Um, <laughs> it's, 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 the peg was just walking towards him, right? Yeah. It's just like, it literally just has like formed and is slowly waddling towards him. Like Please a tonberry from Final Fantasy. How confused oh, is he? God. He looks very perplexed. He's actually going to make an arcana check to see if he can figure out whether this is dangerous or not, which should be great. He's, he's not smart. I love uh, this. Great. That's a two. <laughs> <laughs> he scoffs and charges you. Taking over ripples. Uh, roll his percentile die if you have the stats for him. I, I yes, I, I do. It's a... It's above four. Uh, it's a D100 above 40, right? D100 <laughs> above 40. All right, so roll a D100 and hope you get above 40, buddy. Oh. 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 I'm sorry. He fizzles out as Agronad mm. kicks Gripples aside into the sand oh. and he turns back into Obsidian Penguin. You son of a bitch. I still have two attacks, by the way. <laughs> no, that, you, that was your turn. You ended your turn. Though I have like three actions. No, you have no. You, you, you have you one attack, attack action. action. You have one action, which you set him down with. If you took the attack action, then you would have had your three attacks. Okay. Yep. So, all right. Agronac is charging you. Kicks over Gripples. His first attack. Uh, natural twenty. Fuck. All right. Another dice I never use. There it is. Okay. Oh. Wow. That's great. 
Uh, that is going to be uh, 19 points of slashing damage, cut down to 10. Uh, no, actually nine. You take nine points of slashing damage. Nine points. Okay, I just fucked up my count entirely. Just do one up. Give yourself back one hit point. Okay. All right. And then his necrotic damage is going to double as well. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, that is going to be eight points. Uh, plus two. That's going to be 12 points of necrotic damage to you, Borky. Fuck. Okay. All right. That ends his turn. Uh, it is now all the orcs' turn. This ought to be fun. Mm. Hmm. Fuck me, I have a lot of D4s to roll. All right, let's just get this over with. <laughs> I'm just going to move them. So orc number one is going to move 60. He's going to move 30 feet this way because he doesn't see an enemy. Orc number two is going to run into the house and be confused. <laughs> this one's also going to run into the house and be confused. This isn't my house. <laughs> this isn't my fi my wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to run out, and it's going to see you, Remy, and it's going to charge you. Okay. And it's going to attack you. Uh, that's an eight that's going to miss. This orc here. Uh, or this one's also going to run towards the house, apparently. Yep. And then this orc uh, is also going to run I apologize, out. guys. I, I, I thought we would get our move. I thought they were lower on the uh, initiation list, or the uh, initiative list. Uh, what do you mean? Roll a oh, I, see I did say that. Uh, you know, you're good. It's all good. <laughs> they're all running. It's all good. Direction. Honestly, this works because the, now we, we know where they're That's what the from. backup plan is for. <laughs> okay. it's, yeah, it, it is keeping oh, them kited. Oh, fuck me. What? what? What they're happened? gonna run into the firewall because yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, never mind. Say, I'm not sorry. I'm gonna say oh, yeah. Arby, roll roll damage again for me for this orc. Just roll, click click wall of fire for me for the funsies of it. Runs into the... <laughs> hell yeah. Let's go. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> Uh, so that orc, you hear him, like, going, going, I need to go, 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 I need to to run out this way, 30 feet, and it's going to make their way diagonally this way. Gonna go over uh, that's right. They they got a lot of movement. They, they do. do. They they're aggressive. That's why mm. all these orcs that have been okay. First of all, the wall guys, um, they're gonna fuck off. They're just like <laughs> they look at this. They drop their javelins and they're like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna double dash move to get out of combat. No. <laughs> nah. Like, nah. Not worth it. They're like cowards. Nah. All right, these guys, though, are still committed. Uh, and they're going to move. Oh, God, why did they change the scrolling feature? I need it right there. Whoop. And then this Gross. one I'm just going to slap next to them. Cut to Cito. You know? Bobby has a taste for blood, guys. This isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> I killed, Bobby's and I'll like, do it fun, again. Fun, 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 fun. <laughs> All right, Remy, another orc for you. OK. Hmm. Uh, that is going to be a 22. Hmm. That'll hit. Uh, that is going to be 13 points of damage to you. Okay. Alrighty. That ends, I believe, all the orcs' turn. Um, well, oh, you didn't well, the ones say like the fire. The ones in the yeah. fire need to leave. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> If they're, if they're in the wall of fire, don't they take another round uh, of damage? I think if they end I think their If they end in the fire, yes. yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this guy's going to move down for obvious reasons. Yeah. So this guy, because he can't see, but these other guys are feeling still ambitious uh, and are going to. Ooh, I can't. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He's going far. He's going ziggity zoo. <laughs> <laughs> they have it. I don't know why they did this, but the scrolling feature has it where, um, oh god, what's happening? Uh, they have it where, um, 
if the when you when you right click it it moves the scroll wheel too so it's like it flips me around all over the place it's kind of terrible all right this one's gonna run over here and this guy is going to run similarly over here that's gonna end the orc's turn thank you sorry <laughs> all right now panic it's your turn okay hmm well i have a pretty good vantage point around here up here i'm, I'm assuming you can see over this house for sure. It is a watchtower. Start playing Master Exploder, dude. <laughs> uh, I'm going to Master Explode some orcs. Uh, here comes another Shatter at fourth level. All right. Yeah. Uh, Where are you aiming this one? Uh, there, are, there were a lot of orcs centered around here last time, so why not go there again? All right. Uh, that's going to hit all of them except that one. That's going to yep. be six works. Uh huh. Fourth level shatter. <laughs> Roll it up. There you go. <laughs> Whoa! All right. Hey, I didn't um, roll a single one. Oof. All right. All right, let's. Ooh. Okay, there's some interesting rolls in here. Um, okay. So, this orc here somehow, like, dives out of the way with a natural 20. Wow. They take no damage. Damn. This one here, uh, gone. Go. Explosion, you just watch them fling and slap onto the, the top of the roof. <laughs> just a wet splat. Uh, this one here... Gone as well. Oh my god. This one here got a natural one. Oh! <laughs> and it's just gonna be pace. I'm just gonna delete them off. Of the <laughs> <laughs> right. he's, he's now two dimensions. Yeah, he's somewhere else now. <laughs> Alright, this one here. Uh, His head gets flattened like a senior Palo drawing. That one there failed. And so they're also dead. You literally just hear screams and you just see like bits and chunks flying out like almost like a like a like you know when they do explosions in movies there's like gas and then an explosion that erupts out it's like that ah uh, that's what forgiveness sounds like screaming and then silence um <laughs> good pull. Oof. all right uh ba 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 um you know what why not i've got Couple more of these. Um, am I in range of you? Oh, yeah. Oh, I sure am. Uh, da, 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 da. So everybody, once again, is going to get eight temporary hit points. Yay. And you can use your reaction to move. Woo! Can I, even though I'm in the fog? Roll it, roll 1d4 for me, Abby. Okay. Wait, let's see. 1d4. Uh, am I blind? Oh, there. Oh. <laughs> All right, you're going this way. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh. Uh, actually, Avi does not get it. It's a creature that can see and hear me. Ah, uh, you so. can't see him, so you're right there. Okay. That's actually kind of a yeah. good thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I can just, like... <laughs> you only got I, one I, other dude in there with you. I, I, put you, I put you in a playpen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so can I move out of it? Uh, on your, on your turn, turn, we'll find out. Yeah, Wait. it's it's a little random. Oh, so I can't I, move I, right I, now. No, no, I no, I didn't. I didn't actually hit you with my ability because I because you can't see me. Oh, yeah, yeah. you're in a, you're in a giant fog cloud, so you can't see anybody but just white. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. I mean, dumb. Oh, oh, you're good. You're good. All right, uh, that'll be my turn. Uh, well, time. <laughs> real real quick, Remy, are you moving? No, because I have to protect Panic or they'll go up the ladder. Okay, I'm going to move here. Well, yeah. I could... Oh, I can't... I guess, I'm guessing I can't use my movement to kick over the ladder. Uh, it's, like, t it's, like, bolted to this building. It's ah, not, gotcha. It's not, okay. like, a, it's not like a setup. It's well, part of the structure. Honestly, Never mind, Connor, My whole plan was for you to dimension door up there so you'd be out of combat for the most part, unless for the uh, outside of the... I was, planning, I was planning on doing something similar anyway, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right, so that'll be my I turn. I can't let them get to you. Remy, gotcha. it's not your turn. Awesome, I like this. Um, cool, I'm going to swing at the one that I'm flanked by Greckles with. Uh, I'm right, going to give him a knowing two. nod. 
Pardon? Oh. <clears throat> you have plus two because you're flanking. Correct. Uh, all right, so that's going to be a soft 20. That hits. Yeah. Uh, five slashing. All right. And then let me do Check my booming, which I fast. believe. All right. Hang on. The booming is, I believe, a D8. Yes, D8 thunder damage. Hell yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Six. Six. Not bad. This orc right. is still standing, uh, but you managed to like strike him in the the crackling echo of this uh, of this blade rings out. And then for the last swing, it is a sixteen, so eighteen. That hits. All right, and that's gonna be six slashing. <clears throat> All right, you slash into him. He's still standing. This orc is like parrying and like fighting. Tooth and uh, Remy you. narratively is gonna jab his shield into this guy's chest. Grickles now, and that'll right. be turn. Abby, it's now your turn. You can't Yay, see anything, dude. and there's sounds, and it's scary, and you don't know what's happening, and you wish, man. First time out. Please help me. <laughs> okay, so uh, now I have to roll a d4. Yeah. Sure. He says after murdering everyone. Mm -hmm. Wait. Do I? Yeah, roll d4. Oh. <clears throat> You're going down. Uh-oh. Uh, so use your full movement to go down. Okay, wait. Oh. Right <laughs> Can I still cast something, though, even though I can't move out of this thing? Uh, you can cast, but if it relies on seeing a specific target, it will not work in here. No, I would just, uh, what's it called? I would cast, what is it? Um, oh my god, we still haven't added that. Uh, mm -hmm. I was going to cast Searing Smite. Oh, that's a weapon attack. You have to you have to oh. hit him with a weapon attack to do that, yeah. Oh, right. You're right. Duh. Yeah. Wait, this is a bonus action. I am blind. Oh, man, we should have really added that because it's still not on there. Oh, is it not on there? I thought I dragged it over there. No, Searing Smite still has nothing on cast time range. Oh, or, like, this okay. Version. Give me one second here. I'm going to add that to your sheet. So don't click anything real fast. Okay. Don't oh, touch nothing. Why is it? Wait, what? Why are you not giving me Searing Smite? I have Branding Smite. Is Searing Smite not a? Oh, you might need to hang on. You have it's... to. You have to add some of the smites. Searing, I don't believe is in there. It's an evocation spell. Yeah, I'll I'll get you. <laughs> yeah, you want to give me the stats for it? I thought I had that because I yeah, did get so, the Xanathar's. Uh, uh, when you quick yeah. hit. You uh, you, the, the attack deals an extra d6 of fire damage to the target and causes it to ignite in flames. Okay. Uh, on a failed save, which is a constitution save, it takes 1d6 <laughs> fire damage. On a successful save, the spell ends. I deemed it. Yeah, I have it open. I just I just thought... Uh, yeah, it was going I, I'm so sorry about that, that chip. Mm. I no, I, I mean, it's my fault, too. I could have checked my sheet again. <laughs> Still, I, I should have probably double-checked uh, that one. Yeah, some some of the player's handbook spells aren't in there for some reason. Yeah, I, I, when I played, yep. when and I I guess Paladin, just... I had to add, like, half of them. I'm going to... Now... I'm pretty sure I can cast Elemental Weapon, though, on myself. Yeah, there you, go. you can I sent it to you, Monty, so you okay. have it. I'm going to kick my... my fuck it, what was it? My lance? I'm pretty sure I had a lance. You have a spear. I? You have a little spear. A spear, yeah. And I'm going to cast, uh, yeah, <laughs> Elemental Weapon on it. All right, what Elemental Weapon is Fire. Um, Greckles uh, will, will more Remy and panic and even Borky a bit and the orc that's in here. You guys just see this warm glow in the center of the fog cloud emanating out. Oh, that's <laughs> a little scary. Oh, he just cool. like puts his hands up. Praise the sun. <laughs> <laughs> guys, something scary is happening in the middle of the fog cloud. <laughs> oh good, I can't wait to bring it down. Oh. All right. <laughs> that brings us to is that in your turn, Obby? Yeah, that's my turn. Alright, Greckles, it is now your turn. I really hope you kill him because um, it's be so badass. Really, really quick question, Monty. Can offhand attacks do sneak attack damage? Uh if it is the first attack in the turn, yes. Okay. Well Yes? Sneak sneak attack damage can can proc once, I yeah. think. Right. Right. So if you if you miss and you use your offhand, you can get sneak attack. Right. But can I can I open up with an offhand attack? That's I'll my question. Oh, you bonus action first. Yeah, you can bonus action first if you want. To. Okay. Yeah. I that's... wouldn't do that to do smites like what obviously yeah. tried to do. So I want to. I, I would want to. I would want to offhand this. I don't care about the core damage because that's not what I'm worried about right now. All right. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So plus two. Quick swing. He up. Oh no. Ooh. No. Well, I'm 
glad it was an offhand oh, attack. Oh, let me tell you. Uh, right, natural, natural one. one. Oh, wow. I'm gonna roll severity. That was my second one of the night. Mm. Um, I rolled really high. As you go to bring down your your dagger on this orc, he quickly turns around and he like almost like grabs your arm as you're about to like stick it into his chest. He grabs you and he's gonna throw you and hit Remy with you, like swing you over like a weapon. Uh, oh God. So that's the bug beer special. That's gonna be improvised weapon attack, which technically will apply to both of you guys. Uh, yeah, she rolled really high. Uh, that is like no a twenty-one. This is not happening. Uh, having Remy's gonna see that and he will uh call out to pay him Valentia and cast shield. All right, uh, Greggles, so... you are still grabbed and you are smashed into a magical shield. <laughs> <laughs> Like the sound of a dog running into a like a, a sliding glass door. <laughs> so am I am I on the opposite side then? Yes, you're gonna I'm gonna say you and the orc reverse places. Oh. Sorry. Uh as he slams you into Remy, it is an improvised weapon attack. Oh, that's fine. Uh, uh it is going there. to be uh four points of, of bludgeoning damage to oh, you. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. That's half the temp. Mm. So I ain't out, I got a plan. That's All that's right. your bonus action. All right, so main action, fifteen feet over here. Um, getting back up, dusting off quickly, just gritting his bird beak teeth. He just whispers as he brings his hands up. Genjutsu, casting silent image. I'm gonna make an image of the uh, steel hunter right there. Oh, okay. That's a medium. <clears throat> you know what? Let me grab. Oh, and uh, let's make him. Let's make him the full uh, fifteen by fifteen foot cube. To make him really you want ominous. To make him really, really big. Okay. Really, really big. Hold oh, me. I love Fine. you, Gaijin. Let me find. Cause see, that was my that was my big thing. <laughs> oh God, is he, he's he's got a um, steel predator. You called it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to find the map that it, the token was on right now because I actually <laughs> they archived it. What did I call this thing? We don't know. Oh god, I hate that I nicknamed so many things. Why what? is one just called We're Batman? And all <laughs> Batman? Maybe that's it? <laughs> I, I don't think that one's it. Maybe I'm Batman. Library, Goblin Ambush, Galabder, uh, Ettercaps, Dragon Puzzle? No, that's not it. Doctor, it's Harpies. That's a pretty funny one. Um, you know what? Fuck it, I can't find it. I'm just gonna grab. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna grab one of the uh, the Discord devils. That works. Cool. Where do you there want you it? Go. Um. Like that? Yeah. Let's uh, move it down just one more. Okay. There we go. Uh, you watch as this live lion, like 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 panic. You get a heart attack when you see this thing. It's the size of like a giant dire saber tooth tiger and has oh, the God, long protruding uh, lance at the, like the lance where before it was like this really long needle like thing. On this thing, it's like like an actual like horse lance. It's huge and it crackles. Uh, this thing doesn't make any sound though, doesn't it? It does not, but um, let's see here. A creature that uses action to examine the image can determine it is an illusion with, an, with a successful intelligence investigation check against your spell save DC, which is 14. Okay. So I think that's on their turn, question mark? Um, yeah, they, have to, they have to investigate it. <clears throat> all right. And, and since, since technically I attacked Homeboy, um, you know what? Hmm. Sorry, positioning. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm actually going to move just beside Remy to, to re-get my footing. And right. I, I hit that. I hit. Uh, I, I did make the attempt on him. Uh, so mobile would still go off. All right. Is that all enemies or just the one you attack? Because this guy is, you would be leaving this guy's combat range too. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's. Just yeah. hang tight. So, uh, two? Mm. Unless you think he'll miss you. So I I th I would rather take my chances with one than possibly two. So yeah, Monty, go ahead and go ahead and roll it. Uh, that is going to be an eighteen to hit you. That would hit. 
Uh, I got a... That is, that is going to be 13 points of damage to you as he swings mm. against you as you go running off. It kind of clips your leg, but you manage to scramble away. That's fine. I got plenty of health. Okay. All right. Uh, Borky, it is now your turn. Borky frustrated at seeing Gripples kicked away. Frustrated that he's like, that gamble did not pay off. Borky is just going to swing to the fences with the great sword of Ron Vault. He right. swings with all his damn strength. 23. All right, that hits. Don't you. 11 plus 3, 14. All right. Oh, sorry, one second. Uh, that's 14. That's going to be... Okay. All right, we're going to go. Yep, second attack. Oh, that's 27. right. 27. That is, thank you. Thank you, Zito. That, that was gone. Yeah. Do you crit on 19s? I do not. Alrighty, that I don't is credit. I don't. Another fourteen cut down to seven. All right. Eric, touch my gripples, and one more swing, and that is a twenty-four. Okay, roll damage. Boom, boom, boom. Thirteen plus three, sixteen. Half down to eight. All right. Just keeps He's nailing wildly, smashing. He kind of parries at times, but it mostly he mostly just takes the hits. His blood is spraying across your face. Boom, 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 boom. And that's my turn. All righty. It is now the orc's turn. Uh, Agranak is going to swing against you again. Come on. Hit me. That is going to be a 22 to hit. It, yep. He's strong. He is a strong orc. Uh, that is going to be uh, eight points of slashing damage cut down to four. Okay. And you're going to take uh, nine points of necrotic damage. Fuck me. Oh, my God. Yikes. Okay. He kind of snorts at you, and it's just like, can you feel the true power of Ganache? You should embrace them, child. No. Borky just says No. Nothing fancy, just no. All right. Rest of the orcs. Um, there is some, some hesitation with, with this new giant metallic thing that has appeared. Um, immediately, these two, though, uh, being caught up in combat with you, this orc is going to move forward and attack you, Freckles. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is going to be an 18 again. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is going to be five points of slashing damage to you. Okie doke. The orc next to you, Remy, is going to attack you. Mm -hmm. Eight. <laughs> that's a, that's an eight total. That'll hit. Eight total, yeah. Ha ha yeah, ha. Uh, this orc here, seeing this new creature, lets out a bellowing war cry and swings into it, but nothing happens, and it looks confused. Confusion and, is all we need. <laughs> and barks out, Hey! Like, what you hear, Borky, is, hey, that's not real. <laughs> uh, this orc, being an idiot, is going to swing at it, too. <laughs> I, was hoping on, I was hoping for low that's intelligence. Awesome. Yeah, honestly, it's very around. Hey, that's not real. Hey, that's not oh, real. Oh, it is. It's like a repeated Wait, me... They pull up a table and start discussing you. how to defeat the thing. How do we uh, beat it if we can't hit it? Uh, it swings, too, and, and also doesn't hit anything. This orc runs up. <laughs> I was hoping for this. Uh, swings and, and doesn't hit it. A lot of head scratching going on over there, I think, right? This one here is going to go around. Oh, no. E even, if it, even if it buys one round, that's all I care. All right. Uh, the rest of these orcs, the moment the fog cloud dissipates, all the orcs that are kind of looking all lost immediately turn their head and look towards you, Abby. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> and they all bring out their weapons. <laughs> all right. This orc behind you who is also lost is going to charge at you screaming. Uh, that's going to miss. Oh, that's just, that's five. Totally missed. Yay! Two. Man, I'm having so much luck. <laughs> not in you. This one is going to run up She's going to flank to try better. Gets plus two for flanking. Uh, that is going to be an 18. Nah, uh, that's, yeah, my, mine is 18. Yeah, oh yeah, your armor class is 18, that's right. 
Uh, that is going to be eight points of damage to you. Oh, I take no damage because I had temporary hit points. <laughs> this orc is going to, again, swing around you here. Oh, great. Another I think pile. I remember this strategy. It worked really well last time. Uh, that is going to be a 14. Mm, nope. This orc is going to use its... Oh, my God! Cuddle <laughs> <laughs> pile. Here we go! Uh, that is going to be a 16. Nope. Okay. This one here is going to... Oh, my you. God! Oh, my God! <laughs> well... Oh. They, they don't like you. They just saw what you fucking did. You're scary. <laughs> Uh, that is going to be a 21 to hit. Yeah, that hits. All right. Uh, that's, wow. Four points of damage to you. Uh... And then this last one. <laughs> it's gonna, you got, you're surrounded by uh, six orcs right now. Yay! <laughs> uh, that's going to be six to hit you. Nope. And this last orc. You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> Honestly, there's still a way for you to, to run away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's going to be another 18, so that's going to hit. Kind uh, of small gonna one! Be, that's going to be fi another five points of damage to you. <laughs> there's You guys are watching as just Obby's getting surrounded in, like, you know, the bullying thing where, like, a bunch of people <laughs> getting up on one person, but they're, like, punching and hitting him, and, like, half the guys are going, ah, ah, like, kind of out of pain, and, like, your spire coming out, and they're hard, and it's not really working. <laughs> this is perfect, actually. All right. Uh, that ends all of the orcs' turn. Panic, it is now your turn. Uh, <laughs> Imagine Panic uh, has right. like a golf ball and a golf club. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that shot. Panic goes to the hard camera. Oh, this ain't gonna be good. Hey, Agronach! He's not looking at you guys. He's 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 currently like it's it's like the world outside of this duel is not there. They're fighting. Oh, yeah. his world is going to be rocked when he wakes up from all this. All right, because Panic doesn't give any fucks. Uh. I'm going to use my last 4th level spell slot to cast Shatter again. Alright. Where are you placing the Shatter? Right here! Yeah. It's going to hit all of them except this one in front of Remy. Make them, spare. Make them scared. Right. Oh no, the thing that they're hitting that they can't hit is about to hit them. <laughs> oh boy. They're going to be oh, so boy. confused on their they're way to hell. They're going to be so confused. <laughs> Alright. Is that real? Fine A word. fine red mist. Uh, the first one succeeds. Ah. Uh. First one succeeds. Second one uh, fails. Third one fails. Fourth one fails. And the fifth one fails. That's me. 17. So mm -hmm. this orc here. Uh, that's going to be eight points of damage to him. All right. And then this orc here. These guys who are all surrounding this this simile of this this uh oh he's gone he explodes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this orc here, uh he's gone too. <laughs> explodes as well. They get knocked back by the shockwave of this creature. I just I just get the the, the sickest satisfaction when you say oh he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, also gone. Taurus, are you hearing these explosions, or am I crazy? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Wet pops. <laughs> and, and gone. There's just a massive explosion, Borky, but you're so focused on the battle, but you do get hit with some of the, uh, the goop. The orc shrapnel that hits you. I love it when a plan comes together. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, guys. We gotta stay in here for the long haul. We're almost done, everybody. I'll strum on my guitar. Gonna use another use of Bardic Inspiration. Uh, it hits Ooh. Obby, too. Yay! Yeah! Oh my god. Eight temporary Yay. hit points once again. Thank Hell yeah. you. Do those stack or no? no? No. They do not okay. stack. Temporary hit points never stack. You will always take the higher amount if you have <clears throat> options between cool. two different temporary Got hit it. points amounts. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Alec, does that end your turn? Yes, it does. Uh, that's not the one where we get to move, correct? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. The oh, one it is. Move. So, so okay, cool. <laughs> Obby's not gonna move. 
<laughs> you got bones? <laughs> Oh, I, didn't no. think you had, I just wanted to make sure that was going. I can't move either. I just wanted to know if I Some, could. Something I, bad is about to happen. I just <laughs> Warby took his head and just looked at, made him look at what Abby's doing. Oh, yeah, they're so tiny and small. So easy to conquer. You just panic and Abby lock eyes. And just, they both nod. That's the nice one. Alrighty. Uh, all right, Remy, it is now your turn. Remy is going to turn to the one that hit Greckles twice. Okay. Uh, he's going to glare at him and point his sword at him. Hands off! And swing with Booming Blade. Fortunately, he doesn't know common, so... That's fine. Remy doesn't care. Plus two, it's... because you're flanking. That's going to be a nat 20. Oh, there we go! go. Oh, that's my bird! Roll it's Kylo. That's all it is. 11. All right. So you bring down your sword on his shoulder, and he kind of takes it and turns you and kind of chuckles. And then this ringing sound comes out, and he looks very concerned, and this concussive blast from your blade explodes, and his head is just sheared off his body. And there's lifesteal on that bad boy, too, right? There is. So, so you get hit points back. I get ten back. Yeah. Slurp. Sweet. Uh, I'll take that. Um... So uh, this other orc is going to literally watch this sword make his friend wither and die. Yeah, the body that's like spraying out blood, the blood coalesces through the blade and the body shrivels up like a raisin, almost mummified as it collapses to the ground like a husk. Well, shit, I didn't even get to use my booming blade, so I'm going to use it on this fucker then, asshole. You had to go and die. Uh, <laughs> bang. So that's going to be a 22 to hit. That hits. All right, that's four plus eight, which is okay. two, so six. Six points of damage. All right, you strike into him. He's still standing, though. This is a big uh, one. This is a big orc. So he looks like he's heavier than everybody else? He's heavier set. He's also, like, he's really hurt, but he's he's still fighting. He's fighting to the death. What's his name? His name is Boar. Ah. B-O-R. His name's Boar. Uh, Bye, Boar. Remy is going to point his sword at him. Perhaps all of you did not hear me, so I will reiterate. Wog! And he's going to action surge on this motherfucker. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. So here we go. Another set. That's going to be an 18 to hit. That hits. Or sorry, no, 16 because he's not flanking. Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah, that's true. That's an illusion. Uh, illusion. All right. So 11. 11. You Plus... You slice Five. off his head. He is gone. <laughs> All right. And since I still have my movement, uh, move down here. Perfect. Bingo. So that should be the same spot. Let me see. Ah, where'd my mouse go? There we go. Thank you. That's not what I said. Come on. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. 25. I get one more. All right. Bingo. All right. Uh, Remy's just gonna stand there ready to, uh, All attack right. them if he, if he can. Okay. Obby, it is now your turn. So, oh, I have okay. a question. Uh-huh. Uh <laughs> My mind is like, I'm gonna cast Wall of Fire again. <laughs> okay. But, I need to ask what it's like with the, uh, here, it says, uh, you can make the wall up to 20 feet here, uh, or a ringed wall. Yes, you can make Does it. Does that mean I can, can I like, oh. is is it like a circle? Yeah, you can make it like a circle. Okay, oh. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I stopped in the perfect spot. <laughs> oh my God, you really did, dude. <laughs> For narrative purposes, this is hilarious. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna, f in front of him and around him. <laughs> just... Oh my God, they fell into a burning ring of fire. <laughs> I hear they it burn. They went down and then the flames went higher. One second, I just want to double check and see how big this is allowed to be. Guys, I'm actually start playing. We didn't start the fire. I'm gonna start 20 feet in shit. diameter. Or a ring wall up to 20 feet in diameter. And so, the burn up to. So that it's going to go around this. Uh, Boom. Like that. Yeah. Just like smiling while everything burns. Alrighty. That's going to be a lot of dexterity saving throws. <laughs> um, oh I mean, my God, I have to, I have to, I have to cast, I have to do a dexterity saving throw as well, don't I? 
I think yeah. so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for this, yeah. But I, also, this. I also, I also have fire resistance, so you do because you're. Oh player. shit! Mm -hmm. So go ahead and roll your damage for this, and I'm gonna roll. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, All right. Well, you fire. do have to roll. You do have to roll a uh, Constitution check as well after this because it is a concentration spell. It is instantaneous. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. oh good no good Ooh. no good no this was good a, this was a game <laughs> no this was so good so, we just Aubie, killed the whole village Aubie, yeah. uh you take 10 points of fire damage with your resistance and i need you yeah. to roll a, a concentration check for me real fast a concentration well, check. Con okay. concentration saving throw specifically oh well you didn't roll your deck save first though Wait, that's true. Where's it doesn't matter. It's the lowest it's going to be. It's ten, and they're going to get ten anyway. So what is what is a concentration saving? Throw? I'm a stupid. Oh, oh, it's so, a, it's oh, constitution. It's a constitution saving throw. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, no. oh you're fine. You're good. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how many do I take? How much do I take? Roll a dexterity saving throw first, because you also can re re reduce. Yeah, you can damage. you can reduce it even more. Uh, nope. <laughs> no. All right. So you take ten points of fire damage to you. Okay. Uh, the first orc. Uh, I gotta go. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> gone. <laughs> <laughs> this guy had not a chance. <laughs> uh, this guy actually lived. Oh. This guy here. Uh, he also lived. <laughs> and the rest all fail. <laughs> oh my god! Yay! Dead. We're we're literally we're literally gonna finish this up. Get behind Borky and start West Side Story snapping, walking to this guy. <laughs> yeah, Basically. and you all have to worship for you. Can I can I can I also drop the wall now because like I want because like. The others can't attack them now, can't they? Because the wall is up. Uh, I believe. What does it take to drop concentration? You can just drop concentration. I think it's a free right? yeah. well, well, some, it. well, some spells, some spells will specify. Let me look here real quick. Yeah, let's see if all the fire specifies. Um, I just, I, I just did. Uh, like, I'm having side. this isolated fight, and this this fucking anarchy is transpiring <laughs> behind me. Yeah. <laughs> behind um, him, I turned him away for a reason. Like, it worked. Oh, yeah, I didn't see it. Doesn't, see it doesn't, see this doesn't, happening. It doesn't it's, say anything. It, it, All right, so I'll just say you drop it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the okay. DM call here. You can just drop it. Okay, and he just drops it and it's gone. Smiling. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I just imagine Abby raising both their arms like, Yay! <laughs> Blowing yeah, a little bit red hot. Like the tra like like the trash man and it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Oh. Alrighty. That brings us is that end your turn, Abby? You wanna stay there? Yeah. Heckled, <laughs> <laughs> it's now your turn. Seeing the madness just end it. Bonus okay, so I'm gonna bonus action dash to sandwich homeboy over here. If you run up uh, next to the altar. Hello. And oh, uh I like know a you. Like a crescent moon swinging that sunblade. Something personality. Come on, Grex. That 20. Is. Soft Go 20. Ahead. Go ahead and roll So, oh, it's cocked. Whoa. Do you see that? Yeah, oh, I yeah. do see it. That's it crazy. Okay. So, seven plus. Uh, attack. Uh, 19. Oh, oh no. Uh, so, so 26 points of damage. Uh, so, good night. Whoa. Yeah. Goodbye. Dead. Thank you for playing. You kind of graced. By Slash him in his midsection and kind of swing around, and he slumps to the ground in front of Abby. No. Good job, Abby. You're doing great. You are too. That's turn. Alrighty, that brings us around to Borky. Okay, Borky's Borky. gonna keep. Borky's gonna keep. You guys, you guys have been fighting, really. You're both sweating, bleeding. <sighs> you have significant wounds, Borky. Like. You haven't fought a single foe that's been this, like, tough. Borky's just heavily breathing. You know, you remind me of my dad. Too much of a fool to see what's around him and just attacking anyone he feels like. Because he thinks he deserves it. Well, you know what? Maybe I should get a little reckless. I'm instituting reckless attacks this turn. Okay. Oh. 
You have advantage, but he will have advantage on you. That's perfectly fine, because that's 25. Lived. It's... 13 plus 3, 16, half down to 8. 8 points of damage. Can he speak while he's in between attacks? Sure, yeah, absolutely. A good leader makes sure his allies are okay! 20, soft that 20. Hits. 9 plus 3. So that's 12, what? half down to 6. How do you want to do this? Yeah! Oh. Yeah! Oh. Borky kicks him in the Borky kicks him in the gut really hard. He's, as hard as he can. He he crashes into the back of his throne, cracking the stone. And then Borky jumps onto his back, putting both his feet on the armrests, and pulls his head up and makes him look at all the carnage and death of his men. Of everyone dead and slaughtered. With only one guy scared. And Borky just whispers into his ear. I just think that little robot was the nice one. And Borky cracks his and breaks his neck. <laughs> All right. Oh! And this resounding crack echoes across the orc encampment. As this oh. Agronac leader of the blood axes slumps down dead. His, his axe crumbling to his side as his body goes still. And Borky just, I'm talking like Roman Reigns, oh! as loud as he can, roaring, just like lo the loudest roar you've ever heard him give. All right. Agronax warriors are still going to fight to their very last breath. The wall, oh, that's right. There's three. a couple. There's, there's three, yeah. There's three left, yeah. Wait, I have a th I have a th I have three attacks, and I use two. You use two of them, so if you want to move and make another attack, you absolutely can if you can reach someone. Borky just sees that guy fight. <laughs> he pulls he pulls out the hand axe and just hucks it. Now, shut okay. up. Right. Shut up. And Borky throws it. With advantage. 16. Wow. 16. Yeah. That hits. That hits. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, three plus God. Three, God. Nine plus three, 12. You watch as Gruul's horn fl like flies to the air in front of you, Remy and Greckles, and immediately hits this orc square in the forehead, and he just falls over backwards like a ah! thousand. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that <laughs> Double kill. Sick, Borky. <laughs> Double kill. Alrighty. Points for the unexpectables. <laughs> Hell yeah. It is now the orc's turn. Assuming, Borky, you don't want to move. Borky is going to, he's going to drag Rules body, put it Sorry, not cool. Oh my god. Hey, Greg. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm hearing Nash and I'm fighting orcs. I just I'm thinking Gruul, but there's no shipping. Um, <laughs> uh, Borky just sits in the Borky sits in that throne and throws Agronac to use him as a footrest. Okay. Alrighty. Also, I better see those shipping emotes, those gruel shipping emotes in chat. <laughs> All right. These two orcs immediately are going to charge you, Abby, because you're the closest. Idiots. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I think they're going to just flank you. This guy's going to. They're going to flank you. So this first orc. He's not going to get flanking, but he's going to attack you. Uh, that's going to be a 14. That's going to miss. Yep. And the other the other orc with flanking, uh, that is going to be a soft 20. Ah, uh, yep, that hits. All right. Uh, <laughs> four points of damage. You rolled a one. Yay! <laughs> it's, it's, it, hit, it hurts a little, but it's more like a gunk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ow. Right. That is the orc's <laughs> turn. Uh, panic, it is now your turn. Oh God! I just want to just just take a break. <laughs> I sit I sit down and light up my pipe. No, I don't. Um, <laughs> fuck! I'll be just. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna slide down this ladder. <laughs> fuck it, just okay. start making my way ten over. Feet, ten feet, you slide down. Ten feet. Yeah. Ten feet. Uh, Yeah, I'm just going to rejoin uh, Remy over here. Whew. Well, that went better than we thought. Oh, there's... Hang on. Ooh. Oh, hang on. My sheet. My sheet. You, uh. drop, you drop your sheet music on the ground. I oh, drop, uh, my sheet music. Uh, your sheet music. My sheet music. Yeah. 
Oh god, where is it? Um. Okay, it doesn't need to understand me. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point at. Uh, let's just say, let's just say the uh, the orc right here to Abby's right. Okay. I'll, I'll just be like, hey you. Want to end up like these guys? Uh, third level dissonant whispers. <laughs> All right. Was he just roll wisdom saving throw? I believe he has to make a wisdom saving throw. I love uh, that spell. Eight. <laughs> he fails. All right. Then he takes. What happened to all my friggin' spells? I, I don't know, man. What, what, what happened to all my friggin' spells? Hang on. Uh, 3d6. Uh, higher level casting. Plus. Hang on. Hang on. I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. <laughs> 1d6. There we go. I think I fixed it. Ha-ha! Ooh. Oh. He takes 18 psychic damage. He lies down. He tries not to cry. He cries a lot. Cries a lot. <laughs> no. Oh oh, lies down to try not to die. Dies a lot. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Hey, good job there, Borky. All righty, that brings us around. Unless you want to do anything else, panic. It's going to bring us to Remy. I, yeah, I don't think I can. Remy looks very determined. He is going to walk up. Is it, I assume this orc is terrified. Oh, he's no, he's still fighting. None of these orcs oh, are like, it, unless like awe struck by things that are like like amazing and things like that. General combat, they are enjoying it. All right, well then, he's about to enjoy this a lot less. It's going to be Ooh. a twenty-five. That hits. All right, yeah. so that'll be eight, eight. plus nine. So eight, so that's mm. nine total for that. How person. do you want to kill this guy? Um, I want to walk up behind him, um, and I basically want to get his attention, and I will say, like I said, time to get orky, and just clean cut across the head and let it roll on the Shink. ground. <laughs> Rolls on the ground. And Remy's gonna spit on the body. And with that, combat has ended. Oh God, is there anyone left? Hello? Gre Greckles is immediately gonna go to Borky's. Borky's left, just him sitting in that chair. Dude, <sighs> high five me. Borky, no look, high fives him. <laughs> It just, just also, oh, well, go on. Sorry. He's, he's, he's just, he, and he's just gonna lean. He's just gonna lean on the side like he's the fucking boss because he is. Well, I, I hate to be the burster of bubbles, but didn't we kind of fail our mission here? I mean, that wasn't the whole camp, was it, Monty? Like, they're oh, you're beginning to hear noises now, as you can hear a bit of. There's been explosions here, like yeah. this fight was not like long it wasn't like hours long it was pretty quick and there were pillars of fire and walls yeah. of flame <laughs> and the multiples like, sounds of explosions from booming blades and shatter spells there were fog clouds and all kinds of chaos Borky they just says guys stand by the throne Abby, Abby comes over and he's like, like he looks a little bit. Oh, never mind. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was going well, to move now. Uh, he he like, he, he's like, he's like really heavy. He like goes as he walks over next to the throne and then just kind of stands there, and a bunch of steam releases from his mouth goes, <laughs> and he just stands there like a statue. <laughs> You begin because to hear commotion yes. as many like orc villagers begin to gather and kind of look at all the all the carnage and the gore and see Borky sitting on the throne. Um, and there's a general chat. You see those two warriors who fucked off like like minutes ago, just like back, kind of like cautiously looking. Um, as the orc approach, you watch as one orc 
uh, comes up. They seem to be a portly orc, um, kind of have like a kind of goatee beard, bald head. Um, they're wearing kind of like a toga like robe um, with uh, a myriad of like curved blades on either side. Um, notably, they have a lot of scrollage as well, and they kind of walk up and uh, they're about the same age as Agronac. Uh, probably maybe a little bit older um, and they stop in front of you and immediately all the orcs uh, bow to one knee immediately, all of them. There's about, I'm going to say probably about a hundred orcs, probably 90 I'm going to say I'm going to say probably a hundred and I'm going to say 136 that's, the, that's probably the number that would be left after that fight because you guys killed 32 orcs. A Borky, before the Borky clears his voice. I will cast Lamaturgy on you. And Remy's going to stand on the opposite side of uh, Object 8 so that there looks like there's two guards and stand at attention with his sword in the ground. Nash is not strength. Nash is the illusion of strength. Much like an illusion, reality sinks his teeth into the necks of the foolish, like Wait. this one here. And Borky kicks him in the gut, and so the body fall flops over. The body flops over onto the ground, and the orcs, none of the orcs are stunned. They're all just looking at this matter-of-factly. There are many ways to live life, and I'd like you all to consider a new way that is real strength. And I'd like to talk to you about it. Are you going to end it there? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, I have an ending point, so keep going. On top of this mountain, there are some of the greatest tinkerers and builders you'll ever see. But they are not warriors. Not like you. Not like you can become. I traveled to the top of this mountain with my allies. I made a new one. And he comes down here with us to show the strength of Oriara. This. They all begin to chatter. Or like they kind of go back, Oriara, Oriara. You kind of hear general, like, kind of chatter between all the orcs. Oriara is not a vengeful god. Not like Nash. Oriara would like you to meet her. And Bobby, if you're... You feel a pull, a guidance mm -hmm. in front of Borky. Something, something like guiding you. <clears throat> okay. So, wait, I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> you're being told to move in front of Borky really quick. Oh, all right. Oh, my God. Again, I'm so out of it. You're good, you're so he, good. Does, he, does, he goes right in front of Borky. Abby, you hear a voice. He doesn't respond, but he's listening. He's so a bit... What you can make through just my power alone. Channel my divinity. How will I do that? You've done it before. You can do it again. So you're a channel divinity, if you recall. Is Oh divinity. right. Yeah. yeah. Oh right. Oh my god. <laughs> I need to yeah, one second. Uh. Hmm. Oh, there's a lot to choose from here, so I'm a little bit <laughs> overwhelmed now. Uh, yeah, he's going to, uh, 
channel divinity, and he's going to create a weapon. Okay. What kind of weapon do you want to make? A longsword. Okay. You gather up a bunch of the weapons that have been skewed about, some ingots, and you bring them together, and all the orcs watch in, in great fascination as you channel your divinity in front of Orky, and you forge a sword of such immaculate beauty, a sword that shows the tip of the blade comes in, this beautiful straight angular blade, and as it comes to the hilt, you see various marats and constructs striking down the hilt, which is the reeling form of ganache. And you strike that blade into the ground in front of Borky. And all the orcs immediately, like, they all begin to gather stuff and begin to start up forges. As the <laughs> night comes and all of you guys make your... You have a house here now, Borky. You have a long house. Cool. Um, you guys are given food. Borky is crowned, uh, is, is crowned war chief specifically, um, not war chief of the blood axes, but war chief to command the blood axes to war. Oh my Damn. God. Damn. Damn dude. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Borky. I'd you like guys... to take, I'd like, I'd like to take out the kitchen wall for more of an open concept. Shut up, Kurt. <laughs> But as you guys eat, and the night comes, a sound disturbs your rest. A three-toned roar that shakes the earth itself. Immediately, panic sets in. What? As orcs begin to clamor and run. You begin the oh, wrong song. God damn it! You watch as dragons descend and land upon the buildings of the encampment, not attacking, but landing. And from the sky, landing in the center of the village, is a three-headed chromatic dragon. Immediately, descending from each dragon are a set of soldiers that surround each group of orcs with very refined weapons and surround you as well. It happens so quickly. And you watch as descending down the wing of the three-headed chromatic dragon that stares at each of you with unfocused eyes. A winged dragonborn man wearing a long blackened robe with a sickle-like blade at his side calmly dismounts and smells the air. And he moves towards you. All five of you. It seems that we have missed the party. Well, better late than never. Takes him. You watch as three heavily armored dragonborns swing around you guys. Do any of you resist? We're, we're still banged up from our fight. It, I mean, what are the numbers? Like, is it, I'm yeah. assuming it's a we three did, to we one. Didn't, we didn't get a rest, I'm assuming. No, you guys did not get a rest here. Uh, all the orcs, too, are being manacled. Like, some of them are fighting, and the ones that are fighting are just being killed instantly. Don't oh. fight! Oh. Don't fight! Never fight a battle you can't win. New York, stop. You watch as Dragonborn grab orc children and put them into cages and chain those cages to wyverns. Darkus, as you know him, 
walks up. He counts you. Tiefling. That is a... Bird. Two. Bird. People. <laughs> Valithia. That's cute. Eastern Isles attire. You're a little bit far from home. Orc. Mm. <laughs> and what are you, some sort of circus performer? Who's he saying that towards, Borky? Panic. <laughs> oh, yeah. I perform all right. <laughs> Straighten my black dragon skill jacket just a little bit. <laughs> He turns down towards you, Abby. And what is this mockery? My name is Object 8. <laughs> A tool. Come, you're going to be my guests. I can't help that notice that one is missing. One that I so desperately would love to meet. Too bad you're a step behind, Darkis. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you are steps behind, realizing that I am steps ahead. Let's move! And you watch as he remounts the dragon, and all of you guys are shoved in cages and ferried away. And that's where we're going to end the session for tonight. Oh, good oh, boy. Boy. No, 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 I'll, I'll say, not Borky's best first day as War Chief. Not going to lie. <laughs> the yeah. not the, say, oh, say it with ah. Guys, guys, we all have to do it. Say it with me now. On three. One, two, three. I go limp. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you cut it, is Borky just, I see. I I understand. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Obby's worst ever experience being outside. Yeah, <laughs> I, I really was. I was contemplating it because Obby doesn't know these people, and I, I don't, wanna, and he doesn't know their strengths. I, wa I want to believe all the orcs follow suit and go limp as well. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> sure. All the orcs go limp too. Oh, all, right. Right. all right, bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Sorry, sorry for the extra long session. No, I apologize. Hey, yeah. Four hours. Fantastic. I hope you guys had fun. I mean, we. Oh, still that was forward. that was. Bye, fun. Austin. Hey, hey Vito. <laughs> Vito. Vito. Yeah. You're a, you're a fucking you're a fucking champ. Mm -hmm. I just want you to say it's not Thanks, easy to do a session where you get 40 minutes at the beginning and then nothing. So Sorry, you're a fucking buddy. champ. Thank you. I did warn him to be fair. I was like, hey, next session. You're no, I was warned. Uh, no, yeah. I know. This is episode 130. 130. 130. Which is also what. Way, Zito, next session's all fucking you, buddy. That, that's, yeah. why, that's why if Austin bitches at me about my audio, I'm going to have a lot of words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would just message him in the audio submission and be like, hey, just a heads up, I only am in there for like the first little bit. And then yeah, it's like, it's, it's going to be like, mm, a lot of dead air. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was. Let's see what happened was. Oh, he's gonna gonna finish finish I have fun with the combat. Oh my god. Oh. I mean, I'm I, I, sitting there. Oh, everyone's shit. like, oh yeah, I'm ready for this combat. I'm sitting here like, <laughs> rubbing my fly hands together. <laughs> Uh, like you, you were, you were straight. You know what? The, I, found, I was struggling to describe what you were doing. The best way of describing what you were doing in this session is you were a Dynasty Warriors character from the video game series <laughs> Dynasty Warriors, and you kept hitting Y. You kept hitting Y. Like, over, like the entire time it was your turn, I just played the Yellow Turban Rebellion song in my head. Uh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, Abby, this entire fight was that Elmo gif. <laughs> <laughs> and then fire behind him. I hope an artist does that with Abby. <laughs> oh, man, that'd be great. I did notice in the live chat they were posting that a lot. Good. <laughs> oh, man. God, that was fun. For me, that was a lot of fun to do that. That was, that was fun. So, I'm so sorry that I kept like being like, yee, fire. I, I gotta I gotta no, say it's I, fine. I think that's the smartest we've ever fought. I yeah, would agree. I really that think was so. Probably the best combat you guys have done. Also, I dropped it. Oh.
I that mean, we all got to be honest. I, I, I mean, I, I, I guess I, that I, just I, means that I, I don't know. I guess no, what I mean. No, I don't. No, stop. Zeno, you're awesome. going to roll in in a giant mecha dragon. Come on, man. Oh, dude, listen. I have fucking cloud top crews from Mario Kart 8 ready to go. As I descend <laughs> from the fucking sky like Kefka. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dino lands, just starts playing the fucking because... Evangelion theme. Like, just fucking... <laughs> Obvi's like also like a massive tank. <laughs> also, I'm, I, I will also confess with the dragon capture that was kind of railroady, but they knew where you were. They were tracking you down, and they have a lot of fucking dragons. To be fair, so yeah, Monty, yeah. It, it, is it really a railroad if they had that plan? Like that's not a railroad. That's yeah. just the next beat in the story. That's yeah, the they, yeah. They, 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 this, this is this is what's this, this is what's different this is also it's a D, D campaign but it's also a show at the same time mm -hmm. it's a it's a simultaneous thing so it, it, sometimes it takes some a little bit of quote-unquote railroady it's also like, that story Monty, beat is the best way of putting it you said specifically hey does anybody resist it's not like you didn't give us the chance to fight him back we all just decided not to we probably could have yeah. it would have been could have and then died. It wasn't Bobby runs up and stomps on his foot yeah. <laughs> oh, I, just imagine, oh. I just imagine Obby running up and shoving him like a toddler on the playground. Like, hey, <laughs> ah, all the orcs point and laugh. Like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> we all run away. <laughs> we lock the door so they can't get in. That's oh, that's one of the, I mean that's one of the thing as a player that I've that I have been feeling like there there is a humongous narrative to this but that's because this is all very narratively driven we have our own decisions to make it feel it, it feels like we're playing like a like a, a really big like video game or like RPG where we have decisions but there is a set narrative mm -hmm. and that's I I know I have no problem with that. This was fun for me. <clears throat> I, I've honestly been fun. itching for We've had so much role play. I've been like, oh, my God, I'm in combat. I'm like, I yeah, really yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for being a trooper, too, Zito. I do really appreciate that a lot. So. I don't want next week to happen yeah. now. Now I save know. us, Dino. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you, have to, you have to save us now. If only Task were here. <laughs> Guys, what are we going to call this episode? Yeah, that's really hard. What do we want to call this episode? Disco Inferno. I, so I have two ideas. <laughs> so well, I don't know if you've used Ring of Fire yet, but it would work really well. Um, I think we also, have. Also, I would. I this is just actually, for me. Yeah. This is for me. Burn it down. I would love to call it Burn It Down. I really did burn everything down, didn't I? <laughs> I, did. I, wanna, I kind of would love to do something that has the word scorch in it because we had the sand for ta for task, and then we had all the fire. Scorching scorch sand. earth. Scorch earth. I thought earth. you said scorch. I was like really confused. Scorch. 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 In Rick and Morty American. American. <laughs> Ooh, scorching you know. negotiations. That's pretty good. Mm. I like that. Oh, scorching negotiations is pretty good. <laughs> Let's do that. Scorching, scorching yeah. negotiations. All right. We'll do that one. Scorching negotiations. <laughs> what, uh, yeah, that would work. Okay, so yeah. Scorching properly. Uh, S C. Uh, Memento Mortis says scorched I believe, Earth tactics, or scorched yeah. sky. That gives away the plot. Really... It gives away. It does. It gives it away. does. Yeah, it gives away the fight. Yeah. yeah. I think scorching negotiations is pretty good. I think that's a that's good. Fair. Yep. Good mixture. Yeah. I read this one. I'll be in the horribly burnt, not good, very bad day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey Hawkins, since we're running behind. Do you want to take us around the horn? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's quickly uh, go around the horn here, as uh, the one, the wonderful, wonderful Edward Bosco said. Bosco, where can they find you, man? Uh, at Ed Bosco VA, Instagram, Twitter, here, Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. What's got? We what got going on, man. Uh, wrestling on Friday. We're on the road to Multivania. Uh, thank you to everybody who tuned in. I think it was on Monday for the uh, the LGBTQ uh, charity stream that my buddy Timber and I did. Uh, we raised five hundred awesome. bucks. Appreciate you guys coming by. Uh, yeah, check out the new uh, Pokemon game that's in the newest Nintendo Direct for reasons. And then, yeah, that's about it. Awesome. Hey, Shenpai, where can they find you? You can find me on twitch.tv slash Shenpai, on Twitter at Aravira, and on YouTube also slump, uh, I almost said Slumpai. Oh, my God. Shenpai slash Aravira. Uh, I was fix this episode. I really want to play Little Inferno now. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, oh, but... Oh, oh, we actually made Shenpai a pyromaniac. Oops. Oh, Hell yeah! No, oh, no, we're Konosuba now. <laughs> No, but um, X X Budo is dead. No, just kidding. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be playing a lot of P5R, a lot of P5R, probably mainly only P5. <laughs> Ooh, 
You need you need more. You got it. You got change hearts. Yes, I have <clears throat> to join with the other phantom thieves and go and change cognition. I don't know. I forget most of the terms in which I don't five. <laughs> Those rotten adults. Those yes, fucking adults. adults. Mm -hmm. All right, Zito, where can they find you? You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, uh, CZ Backlash on Twitter, and the Ever Ingot Almanac on Patreon. Uh, Homebrew-wise, the Visorn are done. Uh, if you just type my name into DMs Guild, you'll see that I made a race of Beholder people, which I could already see Monty cringing at the moment I said that out loud. Uh, <laughs> hey now, you can all don't put words in my mouth. No, that's fair. That's fair. You did actually tell me that you wanted to play the Envy, and that made me smile very wide. Uh, I uh, also am playing Marbles on stream. Uh, we did the Don't Tell Your Parents Derby really late the other night, and now the uh, This Is Fine Derby will commence very soon on a normal business hour of streaming. Followed up by that, uh, there will probably be a bunch of indie games, and I mentioned them all a lot. A lot of them seem shit posty, but that's the fun of it. You'll find out what they are soon enough. My God, Distortion Double, where can they find you? Well, they can find me on Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch at Distortion Double, where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Tuesday is Ring Fit Adventure and Roll Initiative Wrestling, my own D and D themed two K WWE two K twenty show. Friday is Friday Funhouse, where I play a lot of party games with my friends. Uh, Saturday is Bayonetta 2. We finally got it installed on my Switch. Uh, Sunday, uh, I'm, I'm playing, we, we call ourselves the Harbingers. We're playing with uh, Dennis Dyack and the other people uh, that are affiliated with Dead House Sonata. We're playing a bunch, of, a bunch of fun games as well. It's like Friday Funhouse, but different. And speaking of Dead House Sonata, um, it is a free-to-play action RPG uh, that will be released later this year. Uh, it will be free to play, but if you purchase a Founders Pack right now, uh, it will not be only supporting the game, it will be supporting me as well, and uh, I will also be voicing in the game. If you need a little more incentive, there you go. You can hear Connor's dulcet tones. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Goomba, where can they find actor, you? You're really talented. Uh-oh, okay. Uh, hey, everyone. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. You can literally find me everywhere as Gaijin Goomba, sometimes with H, sometimes with not. Uh, here, there's no H. Uh, let's see here. My week is just going to be full of Ninjala, as well as weekend. Uh, I'm working on a big, big uh, witch ninja on Ninjala. It's <clears throat> going to be a lot of fun to watch. I put a lot of heart into it. Uh, streaming for the rest of the week and weekend is just going to be that. For those of you that don't know, uh, take Splatoon, remove uh, the area covering effect, uh, make it melee and gum, and the, the kids are, are ninja kids. And uh, it's a hell of a lot of fun. I'm apparently good at it, which is weird because I usually suck at PvP games. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm still working on the Kappa race. Um, I, I'm still wondering how much the Tanuki homebrew race is going to sell for it. So it's still 11th on DMs Guild. Oh, God! <laughs> um so yeah that that was unexpected um but yeah other than that uh please go check out my video on uh sh uh Shar or Shar ishvalda uh if you're a big fan of monster hunter i have to do a two-parter actually to take that beast apart culturally so uh yeah go check it out awesome monty where can they find you hi you can find me at monty glue on twitter you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash monty glue tomorrow is gonna be devil may cry three blind i have no idea what's going on and even if if i knew what the game was about i would i still game's don't know about, what it's about on. it's a it's about to ha you're about to have your first peak yeah <laughs> okay i don't know I, I think I peeked at him riding a missile like a skateboard, but I think that's okay, no, no. There's 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 more. There's five. Oh, it, the, the bar goes higher. Wow. The bar, <laughs> it's, three three just fully embraces the ludicrousness. Oh, great. Um, and if you want something a little less zany and and explosive yet fun, um, if you want something a little more subdued, uh, this weekend my hope is to finish off uh, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, uh, the Gold Bean to purify Shadow Lugia at the very least. Um, and then after that is going to be uh, Final Fantasy IX. If I can recommend a stream to catch for me playing a game, Final Fantasy IX is my is like my favorite Final Fantasy. Uh, that and six equal amounts of love. Uh, so. Are you gonna Are you gonna call VP John Dar? <laughs> I really kind of want to, but I don't think I'm going to. I, I'm okay. Gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna go, I'm, I'm happy to know that the temptation's there, though. The tempt it's so hard. 
honestly, like I, I, I would love to have it be up to vote if we're going to name a Vivi or John Dar, but mm. I feel like I need to tell the story for context. Yeah, you know that everyone will just choose John Dar because it's cute. It is. It's a cute yeah. story. <laughs> cute story. <laughs> I mean, I, I could maybe tell the story somewhere and see if that changes people's mind. Basically, yeah. until I was like in middle school, like like 14 years old, I thought Vivi's name was Jondar because my brother named Vivi Jondar in his playthrough of Final Fantasy IX. Oh. And I thought that was his actual name. And I used to get in fights with friends at school when Kingdom Hearts came out, Kingdom Hearts 2 came out because Vivi's in it, and they called him Vivi, and I'm like, that's not Vivi, that's John Dar, and everyone thought I was the stupidest kid in school. <laughs> so I will always, re I will remember when you met the guy whose the name John Dar was based off, he's like, what? Yeah, he was a, he was a friend of Kurt's, his name was John, but we called, they called him John Dar, and I told him after meeting him after I, you know, like 10, like, God, it was like, I was like, how old was I? I was like, I was like 16, 17 at that point or 18 yeah. years old. I met him and I'm just like, I, for like, like a majority of my living years thought Vivi's <laughs> name was John Dar in this. And it's I, okay. It's okay. Most people think Squall's name is Leon now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> But yeah, you can also find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101, where we got a couple things going on here. We got wrestling tomorrow, the road to Multivania over on Warzone. And as well, we got the Sea of Thieves. Now, the, it's interesting because today we defeated a PvP person. They had four ships worth of treasure. We loaded it up. And we got it. We sold it. Well, while we were selling it, we were under attack by the people we stole it from because they caught up to us because they had a faster ship. So while, You're we're, selling unloading, it? while we're unloading this ship, because four ships worth of treasure, there was so fucking much treasure on that ship. We're taking shots, and then a ghost pirate ship shows up at the same time, so it becomes a three-way fight. Oh it's just... It's just it, it, now, but it, it's hard to top what happened. Myself and several other players were, fly, were sailing through a storm. And then a skeleton pirate galleon floated up, and then the f and then the goddamn kraken. It's like, oh, it's all bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it happens more often than you think. All right. oh, it's pretty funny, but yeah, that's over at twitch.tv slash Takahato101. So yeah, uh, there are a lot of people like to read off here for subs. I'm going to try and go through there, guys. If you guys got to go, um, by all means. Yeah, I need to go. It's pretty late for I know. I do too, people. actually. All right. yeah, Poppy fan. Thank you so much for the 10 subs. Papa Fat, lovely Lorelai51 with a thousand minutes. Ah, now what disposable minions are we going to throw at the Durgans? <laughs> Locutus of Lego. <laughs> uh, That's a Star Trek reference, and I get it, and it's... Okay. Picard becomes a Borg, and he's called Locutus of Borg, so this is funny. Locutus of Lego. Oh, Locutus? <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Locutus oh. of Lego. I'm sorry, it just caught me off guard. <laughs> See, thank you, Zito. Thank you. I thought I was going insane over here. No, Random it's fine. Man, thank you for the 10 sub. Thank you for the 10 sub bomb. Greatly appreciate that from Random Man. Nothing random about that kindness, though. Thank you. Lurker504 with the 500 bits. No idea what happened, but I'm waiting for the VOD. <laughs> McCleary9615 with a bit. Thank you. Uh, Tobiax54 with a 1,000. 500 is my new work schedule. Doesn't allow me to catch the stream, so take my bits. Tuned in. Tome tuned in to tune for uh, turned in time for Obby's death rays. God damn, Commander Saul is faded sin. Think of the subs, bet trude with a 1500 bits. This is so much fun as always. Go, Obby Dragon 124. I can only imagine Obby as the burning Elmo meme. Also, title suggested it could be more on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I chose it underscore one. I thank you so much for the sub. Hunter K, think of 500 bits. Episode name Holy Firefighters. Right, cause I thank you for the bits. Watch a roll. I'm giving a sub to YB. Second, who giving a sub to Burning Ring of Fire underscore six one six four seven. Thank you, Jason Wolf eighteen with the five hundred bits. Oh no, log has rubbed off onto Obby and transferred part of their personality. Oh no, wait, that's illegal. <laughs> uh, Blue Kyos five five four with the ten thousand bits. My God, bits for the new war boss. Blue Kyos 445, thank you so freaking much for the 10,000 bits. Guys, who's ever here? Let's snap for him. Right. 
Thank you. Wilder 41 with a 5,000 bits for the new war boss, for the new war chief, all hail bulky. 5,000 bits for Wilder 41. Thank you so much, Wilder 41. I greatly appreciate the 5,000 bits. CG with a 500 bits. There is only one possible episode title. It's time to get bulky. Uh, alas, we found some other good titles, though. CG, thank you for the 500 bits, Wilder 41. And Blue Kyos, again, thank you for those incredibly kind bit drops. Wolfscar. Thank you for the bits. Ax Axios Riot, thank you for the sub. Marcus Antero with the 500 bits. So how about them clerics? <laughs> I don't know, right? Jesus Christ. Clerics uh, I don't think Obby healed ever in that entire... No, no. no. Obby <laughs> no GPS <laughs> clerics are a real no. fucking thing. Uh, Obby heals for negative damage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Obby heals for negative <laughs> health. Obby's, Obby, Obby like, looks at his Monty. health. He's not even close enough. Mm, to be fair, we heal. actually... We didn't burn through all of our spells, and we did a really good job. Like, our health is in really good shape. No, Goom <laughs> the, here's like Goomba's crowd control was fucking clutch. Yeah. Like, that really was clutch to make that's not overwhelmed there. It was fantastic work by Goomba. And Dorothy the Insane with a 1500 bit title. Get the flamer to Obby Flamer. <laughs> Jeez. 1500 bits and Dorothy the Insane. Thank you so much, brother. The Orby Flamer Brother. Finn Smoke Nassan, 900. We're thinking of the fucking the bits. Wilder 41 with another 1,500 bits. My goodness. Question for the new war chief from the Alabastia News. I'm like, what's your take on the Eastern Isles new trade here for an orcish goods? What? I'll kill him. Put that in the paper. Shen, I just posted something in memes. That's Obby to a T. 1,500 bits from Wilder 41. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to get to the to <laughs> Exusplosion. Thank you. I'm going to think of the subs. The chair is mine. And Kane time with a three-month resub. Thank you so freaking much. Guys, that's all of us. Here, my goodness, so much check out. <laughs> <laughs> can, I copy, can I copy that link and put that in the chat? Oh, we I did. Think already did. Already yeah. did. Yeah. It's all over it. It's all over it. I'm a healer, but. Hey, hey guys, where, where, where are we sending everybody? Uh, where are we packing up all these wonderful people? We want to. I just. I did a nice stream with Octopimp the other day. Do we want to read Octopimp? No, he doesn't deserve any. No, if you already, oh, already gave him a nice stream, why no. would we give him these people? They're Money, all way does, too nice. He doesn't deserve it because he's a yokai bully. Oh, oh whoa, he, whoa, 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 whoa! Shame him! Let's Shame him! Oh uh, yeah, we could do Shara. Sure, sweet. Yeah. She is playing CFDs. So she is playing CFDs. All right. all right, everyone, go in there and give her some yar. Release yar. Kraken. Yar, her fiddle dee Being a pirate is all right with me. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. One of the funniest things is um, a pirate ship. One, one, one of the, the one of the the actors from that show who did 